You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button. Fill in the required fields and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Uh, I'm trying to keep the voice down because it's a bit ropey. Everybody's like, yeah. <laughs> that was me. My name came up then, went down. Came up, went down. And um, now then, the lovely... Oh, hi. That's me. Zena. hi. Um, now, Hannah has just been doing a little cheeky under five pounds and we've left the plasma up behind me. That means we're going to have to carry on, oh. aren't we? Now, would you think... Now, where are... Ah, would you think... Just gonna, I'm just going to ask the question. Now, we had, some, we had some abalone disco balls on the show yesterday morning. Sold out in, in minutes, didn't they, Luce? We all loved them. In fact, I've just been talking about the, to the big cheese about them. And I rang the buying team and said, get more. And the blue terror jasper, get more. Because <laughs> I didn't get either and I'm gutted. But would you think... Now, with the disco balls yesterday, I've got... Abalone today, double-sided squares. So yesterday we had the disco balls. Today we have brand new squares. Now I'm, I'm in an under five pounds little showcase, aren't I? I'm about to be in an under five pound showcase. So I tell you what, how about, how about I do those this hour and I promise you they go under five. Is that, that all right for you? Yes. Okay, so we'll do those for you as well. <clears throat> to my left is a Prince of Wales, hello sir, Prince of Wales chain, of which I have a reasonable amount. When I say availability wise, you have got the wonderful Prince of Wales chain. Now it is a very, very well recognised chain. I'm talking high end luxury. Also, if you are looking for a chain, let's say you've done a beautifully wrapped wirework pendant, of which I will introduce her shortly, my guest designer is well known for. Beautiful, elaborate wirework pendants, which can create a bit of weight, because let's face it, you've got wire in there in a cabochon. If you want a really, really good strand that is really, really, really strong, you opt for a Prince of Wales chain because of those links, because of the way it's designed. So I've got that coming up for you at half eight. However, Stuart man, Producer boy, putting it on pre-order. I have missed you, actually. Pains me to admit. But I have actually genuinely missed you. I have missed you. I have... We had... Did we have an hour? Were we on the tech phone yesterday, were we? We, we need to shut up. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So we'll put it on pre-order. Now, the code is there on the screen, but I'm too old to read that. It's too small. Z L I. I'm bored. ZLIL91. There you go. ZLIL91. And I promise you now it's going to go into £10. Well, I'll tell you, 9 95 Just going to put it right there. 9 95 All right. Now, I'm also going to say, we've got, the, we've got some little, little treats for you, little, little sort of handy, handy, helpful little tools on the show tonight. We've got the B Smith, little, small, sticky, bead wrap. Yeah. 
after our beading week. We've got natural silk on its own results. Yes, we yes we do. Just don't tell anyone. She's got that coming up. We've also got, have you got it loose? The beadle on little eight compartment unit storage thing, which I love. It's got, yeah, it's like a little cheese wedge. And you've got eight compartments. It's really cool. We've got, we have got that in the show. We've got that in the show as well. We have. I've also got Chrysocola, and I've also got Chrysocola Cabochons, and I've also got, I'm just going to show you this now, this is my today's absolutely got to have, not today's must have, got to have, because I've got a three carat sky blue topaz solitaire, I have today's got to have stunning sky blue topaz, brilliant cut, three carat solitaire, incredibly affordable in fact I'm gonna put it out there it's less than 20 pounds just gonna put that out there very impressive the only thing is I don't have the biggest number but it's a really really good deal and that's at 8 o'clock today okay now I'm gonna get something on screen so you can start treating yourselves and I'm going to introduce my guest designer to you keeping her a secret for a minute I am keeping her a secret she's worth keeping a secret now then, I'm going to try and find, get to them myself. Thank you, Don. We've got Michael Wolf back on the show. Michael Wolf, <laughs> after two weeks of being a DIY decorator at home, he's back in. Are we doing a mystery box tonight? Mm. Okay, can you describe this to me again, sweet pea, please? They are. Oh, I think it's this. You're saying they, that was, that's what threw me, and it's a single. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right, my lover. <laughs> so, oh, just remember, under five pounds, until we tell you any different. Everything I pick up now, until I tell you any different, is going under five pounds. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. You could make that, and I'll tell you what I've got on the show today. I've got sterling silver wire. I even have one mil standing silver wire on the show today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, 395. It's ridiculous. It's brilliant. It's wonderful. I need to introduce my guest designer. Even her name is a gemstone. Gem Hawks in the building today. Good evening. She's got a short stunt today. <laughs> I can see her legs. <laughs> Tink says, yeah. It's seen her. I can't even shout, sorry, because it's going to go. You look gorgeous in that type of oh, why, Thank you, Tink. Oh, thanks. Um, I keep the little wheel storage pot stacked up on a kitchen roll holder. Oh, my goodness me, that is such a good idea. Did you find it, chicken? Yeah. Sorry, should we? Yeah. Yeah. Can I just show what Tink's on about? Do you mind? Because it's so good. Thank you, Pop It. Thank you. Look, it's in the 8 o'clock hour today. We've got the little light compartment storage unit. Yeah, it's so good. And Tink's just said, what a great idea. Stuck it, lots of them, on your, on your kitchen roll holder. That's a really good That's idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, man. Marga said, I was in. I hope you don't feel too bad. I feel for you. Looking forward to the show. I don't feel bad, Marga, but thank you. It's overuse. It's sore and it's just, it never gets a rest. That's the trouble. It ne no, my voice never gets a rest. Overuse. <laughs> That's the trouble, me. <laughs> but thank you, Margot. So anyway, you all get a rest tonight. <laughs> You're all like, thank, thank there, is a, there is somebody up there. <laughs> You've been cheeky. What were you doing? Good, good job I wasn't watching. <laughs> I wasn't watching. <laughs> Was he being cheeky? I wasn't watching. I have 13. 13. And already, Denise has had three. They're nice, aren't they? I've never seen those before. Light coffee, frosted. Those are beautiful. Oh. Absolutely stunning. They remind oh. you of makeup balls. They remind you of makeup balls. Why is that then, Michael, when you're a man? What? Awkward. What? <laughs> About to sell out. Hello, Suzette. Hello. Um, Lucy. I can't shout her tonight. What do you mean? Tea bar. Lavender freshwater cultured pearls. You, for you. All for you. 
We're in under five. We've done pearls already. I'm just saying. We've done pearls and cubic zirconia and sterling silver under five already. Now these are so pretty. In fact, I've been outside with my lavender today, deadheading it. Because that's a job for August, according to a gardening magazine. Take off the heads of your lavender that I've deaded. Ah. Yes, I do decapitating lavender today. I have. Now those are really pretty. I think, I don't know about you, that you, I keep saying this, and I said this on the show yesterday, it should say lavenders, because when you get iridescence in pearls as good as these, you get a multitude of actual blends of lavender. You do. As yes. opposed to just a one flat colour. It's not like a, one of those paint strips from the DIY exactly. store. Exactly. It's a beautiful a range. A beautiful blend mm. and range of, of lavenders that are so subtle that you can't see through the... Through the, through the <laughs> five. My producer said, just said, he's subtle. If you're subtle, I am. I'm, yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're all laughing now. If there's one thing I've never been described as is subtle. <laughs> Have you, Jim? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. No. There's many things we could be accused of. That isn't one of them. No. <laughs> Shy and retiring? No. Mm. <laughs> Mind you, Linda Brumwell described me yesterday very well. She said, you're the most non-confident, confident person I know. <laughs> I thought, that's fair. <laughs> now... I, Oh, have they gone? They're about to sell. Uh, the, yeah, well, to be fair, it's not a surprise, is it? People are having two and three each, and we, these are all on and gones as well. We, we can't put on and gone and under five. There just has to be a dis, a, an explanation, doesn't there? Now then. Oh, um, you know what's going to happen, don't you? Oh, thanks, Michael. Oh. <laughs> Under a fiver, sticky bead mat, one left, gone. <laughs> it's going to be like that, is it? Right, it's going to be like that. It's going to be like that tonight. You're not even, you're not even giving... I mean, much, actually, do you know what they're doing? I know what they're doing. I know what you're doing. You're being good. You're being nice to me. They're buying everything so quick, I haven't got to speak. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. I love you. Please do that all night. And then I can just... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Keep doing it. So, we have the natural silk thread. Tracy just said, hi, Jem. We oh, get first dibs, Jem. That means you is the most important person. Yes, it does. She said, hi, Jem, Zina, and the fab crew. We're in for a treat tonight and under five pound as well. Don't think I can cope. Yippee! Well, Tracy, we're doing under five for as long as we can. I don't know how long yet, but we'll keep it going. We'll dip, not for the whole four hours. But we're going to do as much as we can. Oh, yay, top crew. They are tonight, Kath. I'll be honest, I am surrounded by the creme de la creme. Amazing Xena, gorgeous gem, deal meister Tom and sexy Michael. Just what I need when I'm just at a hospital. Well, firstly, Kath, what were you in hospital for? Glasses? <laughs> Glasses? <laughs> are you having trouble with your eyes? Oh, she must be. Sexy Michael? Oh. <laughs> Just Kath, for Kath. Kath, I hope they've looked after you and they've got you on the road to recovery, sweet pea. All right. Would you like to pearl knot? Now we had, didn't we have yesterday on the show? At some point, I think either the afternoon. Oh no, it might have been today. Didn't you have um, Fleur's introduction to pearl knotting today? Or was it yesterday? I'm sure it was over the weekend. Any road. If you got any, if you like to pearl knot, that's the that's the exact style of silk with the needle in, uh, at the end embedded in to the thread. Oops, a daisy that um, our lovely Fleur that does the DVDs and the workshops on pearl knotting recommends. That's her favourite. And it's such a beautiful neutral colour, isn't it? She says this is the colour of, uh -huh. like, the moment. Like, you know, this is, like, the fashion. The fashion. Oh, I wouldn't know. Don't ask me. I'm just saying. I've never been fashionable or in in my life. Don't intend to, neither. Anyway, size 02 applies to the size of the pearl that you can, uh, that you can work with, doesn't it? Hole. Ah, ah. The, the drill hole. I was just going to bring Gem in, but it's not her thing. <laughs> she went, don't ask me. Don't ask. Are they all gone? Because I need some. I, I need some of those though, because I've just had. Pearl. Thanks to Suzette, I've got Fleur's second edition DVD. Me. Yeah. Can you can you write that down for me, please? He went. There's no point. You won't get one. Charming. It's going to be like that all evening, is it? No. Don't you make me do this. Don't you? Ma I'm not doing it. I'm going to down tools. No. Nope. No. Nope. Thanks 
hopefully I genuinely can't see it. Is it there? Because I genuinely can't see it. No, I genuinely can't see it. No, I know exactly what it looks like. Have we got it though? It's because I genuinely isn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> um, butterfly. I've got a butterfly. I've got hearts. I've got hearts because it's Queen of Hearts Day. I've got connectors. I've, nope. Anyway, it's a sterling silver catch. Oh, have you found it? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it just it makes me giggle because I think it looks like a chihuahua. <laughs> I think it looks. But so, so I think it's really helpful in your own time. Don't worry. We go off. We go off at ten. Look. Could you get any more finger marks all over it? I mean, if you could actually just smudge it a bit more with your thumb, that'd be great. Do you want it or do you want it? <laughs> Have we got a, a cleaning cloth? I'm done. Okay, ignore the graphics. Have a look at it and decide what you think it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to me, it is a chihuahua with a jumper on. I think we've, I think we've described it wrong. He does look like he's a chihuahua. Donnie the chihuahua. I don't care what anybody says. Say what you see in life. He is a chihuahua <laughs> and he's got a jumper on. <laughs> you see a cat? Great. I do not see a cat. I see a chihuahua with a jumper. Wow. Great price. Lovely prod. I love the fact that he's a happy chihuahua, but he's a chihuahua. Please do text in with what you see. 60777. Slightly text in with JM Studio and say, cat, chihuahua, or do you see something else? Jem. I actually see the chihuahua. Do that you you're see seeing. the chihuahua? Yeah. Cool. Okay. It's a chihuahua no. price. Well, that is rubbish. Well, Please, if you've got nothing good to add, wow. do not speak. Well, 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 well. Natasha says, looks like a dog to me, people. I'm with you, Natasha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I agree, Zena. Thank you. Z, sorry, I like Z as well. Thank you. I mean, you know, we can't always get the descriptions right. Oh, we definitely not got it right today. <laughs> However, we got the price right. We got the price right because he's well cute. He is. Isn't he? He's a dog. I like his little, knitted, his little yeah. knitted jumper as well. So, do you know anybody that's got a little chihuahua or a little cute dog like that? Oh, we could get this for Claire McDonald. Because she's got a little chihuahua. Is the chihuahua called Gizmo? He's quite fat. Oh, it's not very nice. Is he a pet, a dog? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, these are def under. I love Michael. Before the show, he said, I'm going to be quiet tonight. Lasted how long? Ten minutes, <laughs> did he? Yeah. <laughs> he said, I'm going to be quiet, Michael, tonight. I thought, two weeks off, your first day back in the street, you won't be quiet. Mind you, I can talk. I need to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm having to be a bit more subdued tonight. <laughs> yeah. I'm having... Champagne. No, my, my, my director just said, you should go on a retreat where you don't speak. I actually, before I went to bed last night, that is what I was looking up. Actually, a retreat, 100%. You can look at my phone in the break. I was actually looking at retreats to go where you actually just are literally quiet. <sighs> so that's exactly what I was looking up last night. How do you ask, how do you ask for things then? How do you ask for things? How do you ask for a drink? <laughs> <laughs> what about Shh, stop it now. Champagne. I, oh, I can hand gestures. I, I can do hand gestures, no problem for what I want. Not a problem. So, lovely champagne pearls. We're in under five. We're not just under five, we're actually under four pounds. Under four pounds. I've just bought, and I hate to admit it because I shouldn't, but I've just bought a ready meal from a well-known, very well store, very well-known store. Yeah, the very nice one, dining for two. Yeah, with the beef stroganoff. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and that was discounted to four pounds seventy. Discounted to four pounds seventy. Four minutes in microwave. You know, five minutes down my neck, lifetime on my hips. Just saying. Instead, I could have thought, stuff that. Let's have some low weight, low calorie, beautiful pearls. They're going to make me feel a darn sight better than that. It's a lovely beef long strand, strand, isn't it? Full length. Ooh. <gasps> Can I just, oh no, Tom, I will move on. I will, I promise. I promise, but he said, yeah, would you? 
Can I just show them together though? You know when we did those, you know when we did those lovely frosted coffee shell pearls a minute ago? Look at them together. Gotta show you. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, that's it. That's it for me tonight. Those two. Beautiful. Okay, fancy Jasper. I think I think all Jasper is fancy. I'm just gonna take that off camera, sorry. It's alright, Leah. Just um now. We had, we had a reasonable number of these, but everybody's refusing to return them with the no quibble 30 day policy. <laughs> everybody's refusing, point blank. A fancy Jasper, beautifully formed, natural Jasper, all the way from Brazil. It's a long way for it to come, in it? It is. When you think about it, 25 by 18 mil, That's like the Amazon basin from above, isn't it? With yeah, the veining, it's absolutely. like threads of rivers. Yeah. It's actually got, I don't know whether you can see, it's actually got lovely purples running through it as well, like a really silvery purple. Can you see there, look? There you go. There is like a lovely sort of almost silvery aubergine purple tone. All the way around the edge. £2.95. And the first person coming from California, IA, eh? she's had three. Denise, you're having a lovely spend tonight, love, aren't you? She went, well, at those prices, why wouldn't you? That's all natural, utterly beautiful. Now, we only had, sadly, 35 available. And there is a lot of you coming in for those very quickly. YLGP95, and they are absolutely natural. That Prince of Wales chain that everybody's messaging my producers, it is on pre-order. That means you can get it now. You, it, it's, it's not very, do you know, it's so obvious, isn't it? Pre-order. And sometimes we just, we miss it, don't we? Do you, no, but you know what I mean? Sometimes, I, I, when I watch my colleagues and I see something, they go, it's on pre-order, and I sit, still sit and wait for it. <laughs> and I, I don't know, because I'm just not paying attention or whatever. Have you done that before? And you think, I really want you get there, and it's gone. And then and you think, but it was on pre-order, and you're like, you could have got it earlier. <laughs> I'm like, why didn't I? <laughs> Very odd. Same to you. Same to you. Ball balls to you and all. <laughs> now then, dare I say... We're on the way to we're on the way to Christmas, aren't we? We have acrylic baubles. What are you doing, you weird person? I'm holding it to your outer shot. Oh, did you? Oh, thank you. So I'm so sorry <laughs> I didn't see you there. I do apologise. Uh, by the way, this is really good for wedding favours. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the reason I chose to ignore you? Can I just share this with you as the reason I did chose to ignore you then? Because we've just had a wedding event weekend, so I didn't want to talk about these as wedding favours because then they would have been in the wedding event weekend, not today. So I decided to ignore him and now he's made him say it. Uh, there are reasons as to why sometimes we ignore you. That is why. Anyway. I actually think... These are beautiful. Now, if you've actually managed to get Alison Terry's bauble, seed bead bauble DVD. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And you have that technique on how to cover your beautiful baubles in seed beads, then these are perfect because they're acrylic. They're these lovely orbs, and they're not exactly difficult to put together. They come separate. You fill them up, you clip them into position, and you put a thread or loop or tie or wildfire or fire line or monofilament or whatever it is, a ribbon, whatever, and hang it on your tree. Not a lovely idea, but also they'd be nice gifts. They would be good for wedding favours. They'd also be good for little sweets and treats and things, so like a christening they or are. a naming ceremony. They're a really cool way of giving small gifts as well. Aren't so they just? Rings, brooches, earrings, pair of earrings, solitaire rings. Gorgeous. But if you want a slightly different Christmas look, putting some pure white feathers in them and hanging them from a bit of organza or silver thread, such a lovely look. We had those. We had those feathers on the morning show on Saturday, all dipped in different colour glitter. Yeah, I've just been talking to Andrew about those. I think he should, I think he should wear one to the Christmas do. He's not having any of it at the minute, though. I've tried, not having it. We'll get him drunk. <laughs> 2 4 centimetre, six-pack. WYGP26 
two, two dot two. two. I'm just about to say two dollars ninety five. Why would I possibly say dollars? Why would I possibly say dollars? I was just about to say dollars. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> Look, we haven't got that long. Don't answer that. <sighs> I, you can't do blacks for under five pounds. Have we moved on from under five pounds then? I'll take it. I don't think... Well, do you know what? Should we just wait and see if you can do it first? Because there's no point in putting it on screen and then you're letting me down and letting everybody else down, is there? No, we said pick it up. Oh, we said he, well, you said pick it up, do it. Okay. Pick it up. Pick it up. Do you remember the pick it up vacuum? Pick it up. <laughs> I don't know that phrase. You sound free. Oh. oh, the pick it up. The pick it up. I kept saying that. <laughs> uh, black spinel. Just to mention as well, those incredible. Oh, yeah. If you got the disco balls of Avilona yesterday, you're going to need the squares. Because that's like the dance floor with a disco ball. It is. Isn't it? Yeah, you know the dance floor that lights up like in Saturday Night Fever with the uh, lovely sexy John Zavolta and them bonkers white trousers, them flares. They're coming up in a minute and they're going under five. as a star by. Put it out there for you right now. We are, we shouldn't, we're not allowed. Computer says no. The computer says no. Now that means the reason he's had to slide it on that little bar at the bottom is because the computer's basically saying to Tom Stewart, stop it. No. You can't take black spinel. It's actually saying to him, this is what happens. It goes, you cannot, are not authorised to take it to less than five pounds. What does he do? Decides he knows better. So the bonus is, you and I get black spinel, one of the most usable gemstones on the planet for glamour, style, sophistication, sexiness, all casual, whatever look you're looking for. Goes with every single item you wear, every single item you have in your wardrobe. Sock drawer, knicker drawer, chest of drawers, I don't care what item you've got, sport, swear, that'll go. It'll work. Try it. Just go now, go and put your brightest pair of socks on. Nothing else, put that on. It'll work. Just saying. Black spinel, 4 95 Now, the reason it doesn't come up on the, on the screen properly is because the computer won't let us. So our call centre will manually go into your order and we can absolutely guarantee that that will be invoiced to you, charged to you on your credit debit card or your PayPal, and it will be 4 95 All right. OK, now that was naughty. This is on a whole nother level. The second the graphics come in, I would urge you to do a speedy checkout because if it goes as quick as the abalone disco balls did yesterday, uh, and I've got half the availability of these, it's a brand new strand, to my knowledge, a new shape as well. Do grab them quickly. Start by. It is going under five pounds. It is a brand new strand. It is abalone. And these are just going to check double sided. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, double sided. We've got these lovely squares. I mean, a proper square. A lovely stepping stone. It's like a stepping stone to the ocean, isn't it? Don't you think? That's such a lovely way of putting it. Isn't it? Oh, I like that. I like that. It just came into my mind. Look at how alive they are. Oh, I know. It's like watching, it's like going to, to the ocean, going scuba diving or snorkeling, seeing all the activity under the sea, taking a Polaroid snapshot and that's it. Isn't it? That's beautiful. Yeah. You know, if on the North Cornish coast at a particular time of the evening, as the sun goes down, yeah. you get something called the green flash. Oh, yeah. It's where the, the sun comes through at just the right level to illuminate the, the greenness of the water and that's what it reminds me oh, of. Wow. Green flash is absolutely amazing. Oh, how lovely. And that's the lovely thing, you can guarantee in our abalone you always get a beautiful, a really unique green. So perhaps it's that Cornish one, like the green flash. Now then, two sides, oh I could have just read the graphics, there was me going, another two sides, have a look. And it says there, look, my div. Eight by eight mil squares, full 38 set, I'll give you a count, of course I will. But that, just to prove the point on camera as well, if I just flip one over, there you go, see? There you go. 
Look at those, aren't they lovely? And if I just hold that out there, what you've got to work out as well is which side you're going to use because they're all really unique and totally different on each side. They've got this beautiful illumination, this lovely, the patterns are really quite sort of psychedelic, aren't they? They are, definitely, sort of oil on water, but yeah. with those amazing colours. I'll tell you what, back in the day at Woodstock, these had gone down well, wouldn't they, in the 60s? Oh, yeah. Hey? These That's are what I'm doing with me time travelling, uh, yeah. I'm going to Woodstock. We're going to Woodstock, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. And I'll tell you what, if they'd have worn these. And I was saying I went to see Mum and Mia too last week, and I was saying that um, I was fascinated to see that Julie Walters, who I absolutely idolise, had got this abalone crescent moon shell necklace on. Oh, how lovely. Oh, it was so flattering. Was it a good film? I enjoyed it. There's a bit at the end that makes me cry my eyes out to the point, you know, when you cry and the tears don't even touch your face, they just drop. Oh, I loved it, I enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy it as much as the first one. I thought the first one was brilliant, but I still enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. I want to see Mission Impossible 4 next. Six, is it six? Yeah. I went to my friend yesterday to do his finances for him, and he gave me all of the five Mission Impossibles to watch back to back. That is such a good evening. Yeah. Start it like five o'clock. That's binge watch yeah, the whole I'm thing. I'm binge watch. Yeah. Tomorrow is going to be a dun, 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 dun. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm basically Mission Impossible, ready for the cinema Thursday night, go to the new one. Is it, have you seen it? Good. It's good. Have you seen it? I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I'm desperate to, to see brilliant. it. It's supposed to be brilliant. So I'm going to watch all the other ones. I did promise you, that is a shocker. I mean, they would make the most lovely, dare I suggest it. I know it's obvious, but they would be perfect cufflinks, wouldn't they? You could also... Unisex cufflinks make them larger as well, so sort of nestle four together. Oh, that's a great idea. So you get an almost parve effect, but yeah. because they've got those lovely chamfered corners, it's yeah. going to look really different. Or you could do like the, like a, a stairway. Oh, how lovely. Couldn't you, like a staircase yeah. of abalone with those, with those squares. Now that I did promise you, I mean, I've got to say, I think those of us that know, I mean, abalone is a real delicacy. And please don't think that this is an average abalone. These are, these are the best quality we can get for you. Not all abalone is as bright and as vibrant and as, with much colour variation as these are. It's a bit like we only bring you the best colour grade of, of peridot and we do that every time. So we get a bit blasé and we get a little bit complacent by we thinking do. that's just expected. Mm. A, that's top grade. B, that is incredible. It's got a great drill hole right through the centre, very workable into jewellery. It's abalone, it's two-sided. It's this amazing delicacy that we then, we then get luckily turned into these beautiful, beautiful abalone squares that we can use in jewellery. And I must say, that's one in the business we would call a loss leader. And you might think what you mean by that. What I mean by that is, there is no way in any hemisphere, that that should ever be priced at less than five pounds. Never. Whatever. Totally agree. Thank you. She totally agree. Never, never, never. And what we class as that is, that's a little thank you from us to you to say thank you for being wonderful and loyal and wonderful to us. That's a gift from us to you at 4 .95. It's just brilliant. Could I just give you a count? Is that okay? Just quickly. Two, sorry, two, four, six, eight, ten... 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 20, 25 on there. That's 20 pence. That's amazing. How many left, sweetie? Just a smidgen. <laughs> I like that word. A smidgen. Is it a smidgen or a smidge? Either. Either. Is it? Either smidge either. is just a, a shortened smidge. variant. Smidge. Smidgen. <gasps> Do you know what I found fascinating yesterday in the garden watching? A wasp. I've never watched a wasp drink water. I've never watched a wasp land and drink water. I was fascinated by that. I believe it's like, do you mind? I'm having, a, I'm having a beer. Shut up. But it was fascinating to watch him having a, having a drink. That was really interesting. I thought I thought I'd share that with you. It was really interesting. Really interesting. It is, oh, I, I, I am gone a bit gardening mad. I have. You will be invited soon when you come back off your jolly day. I take it you've took under five pounds off because I've got a malachite cabochon. No, sorry. No. Feel free. 
I'm not bringing, I'm not doing Malakot and just pound to five pounds. <laughs> no. You've just made me do abalone. You can't, come on. Oh, he says I've got two. Okay, all right. Don't agree with it. But I will. I bet Jem doesn't agree with it either. All kinds are wrong. All kinds of naughtiness remind me of J.M. <laughs> just made that up. <laughs> it's not the best song, but, you know. Uh, ten carat solitaire. Ten carat, one, one stone cabochon in a round for the centre of a choker, a beautiful bracelet, bangle, ring. It's an impact, isn't it? Isn't it just? Oh, my gosh. And I wouldn't mind. It's not even reconstituted. It's genuine. It's natural. So, to have a 20 mil round, 10 carat one cabochon piece of, of malachite, and we're going to ask you to if, just part with a fiver. That's outstanding. That is just truly wonderful. Oh, no, we've got Lena Crazy Cat Lady in. Can you tell us whether you think that was a cat or a chihuahua? <laughs> because if, you should know better than anybody, Lena. <laughs> Would you message him? Did you see the cat <laughs> charm? Would you just tell us what you think? Because you're the crazy cat lady. You are absolutely qualified to, to, to put this to bed once and for all. So, a malachite cabochon 10 carat for, well, a five we've changed. We're only going to give you 5p back, aren't we? Hello, Suzette. Lovely Suzette. She sent me some bee bombs. Oh, yeah. how wonderful. Bee bombs. For your garden? Yeah. Lovely. I was looking at how to build a bee hotel yesterday. Yeah. Be careful when you're sawing Be bamboo. Be careful. What can I say? It's a natural. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. To be fair, Tom, you are creating this problem for yourself tonight by putting these products under five pounds. It's shocking. You've, you've made us go a bit do lally tap, mate. Beautiful. Have you, have you missed being here as well, Tom? Have you missed us for the, all the days you've been off? And that lovely. We are staying with under five. We are absolutely... definitely going under five pounds. Could I please... Please show you these on my neckline. Right, it's going upstairs. It's going upstairs. This is. If you, oh, I'm trying to tell. I'm trying to tell them I'm going to put it on my neckline. They're again. They're chatting away in there. It's like when he come. When he, oi! They go. Who's going upstairs? I'm going the, the strand. If you'd listen. Oh my gosh, the glow that it's casting across your neckline. And is, that's why I wanted to put it on. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? It's like, do you like sunshine? Do you like happiness? Do you yeah. feel joy when you see this? Exactly. I mean, what is there not to like? The, and it feels as though it would be warm to the touch as well, doesn't it? It's jam-packed. Mm. Jam-packed with sunshine. I tell you what, we're getting enough sunshine at the minute too in the UK, aren't we? Hey, Is everybody all right? Is, everybody, is anybody had enough? No. Oh. Long may it last. The arrows of doom. The arrows of doom are in. Was that necessary? <laughs> oh, don't like that. Can I move that? Looks like I've got all my lipstick over somebody else's mug. Didn't look very nice, did it? Don't like the look of my lipstick on a mug, do you? I don't like it. So, 78 carats of gorgeous citrine. For three pounds and ninety-five pence. Wow! Oh my goodness! I'd normally be doing cartwheels and and getting all excited in my voice. Unfortunately, the voice won't let me. But it's there. I'm just being muted. Think of a Brazilian carnival. Yeah. Think exactly. of the sunshine on yeah. a Brazilian beach. That's what I'm thinking. Well, I can think of Blackpool Beach at this rate, can't I? <laughs> or you I know. I was just thinking because it was from South Brazil. End. Oh, I see. That's what I was going for. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Not just randomly. <laughs> Tom, can I just say, that is brilliant, mate. You were doing some cracking deals under five, hon. I mean, citrine, 
black spinel. Now, you know, I mean, that black spinel we had earlier, if you want to create a lovely bumblebee design. Oh, that's lovely. That looks just look, in fact, that's, that just looks nice as a double strander. Doesn't it? It's very sexy. It does, but as a cluster style bracelet mm. as well, I think those two work together beautifully. Really, yeah, really lovely. Now, how do you fancy some, um, some rose? Yes, please. A little rose. I'll say little, they're four mil. Oh, gosh. Do you know, I'd have argued they were Madagascan. Have you seen the brightness of that, that, that lovely, that's, that, surely. <laughs> they look like rose, they look like Madagascar, look how bright they are. Oh, they are awesome. They are good. I would honestly have argued all day long. Well, actually, no, because that's a bit excessive, isn't it? I'll be a bit bored <laughs> all that. But I would have honestly argued, though, with Madagascan, because Madagascan has a particularly bright, lovely, definite pink, and they really are a definite, strong pink. And that black and pink is very, very, very sexy, I think. It is, yeah. I think black and pink is a particularly... grown-up sexy. A grown-up sexy, Yeah. Today, both of those under a tenner. You can get oh, wow. both strands for less than a £10 note. <laughs> You're all like... <laughs> it's good though, isn't it? Both of them. No, you don't have to have both. You might be thinking, well, actually, Zena, I, I don't. I just want those. How about with the lavender pearls? That's pretty. Those have sold out, obviously, because they went under a fiver. I bet there's been a few sold out so far, hasn't there, young man? Yes, there have been a few. That's Kel Surprise. Now, I've got some lovely little, um, lovely little spaces coming up as well with some sparkle. Look at those. A little bit of stardust. Those are coming a bit later on in the show. But just, just I wanted to let you know they were there. I tell you what we have. I tell you what we have got though in the under five section. Ooh. Can I tell them about it? I'm doing it anyway. I'm just, not, just don't ask. Don't ask for permission. Ask for forgiveness. That's what my mum always told me. I don't know if we can get them in the under five. I think. I think we. I think we can. They're lovely together. Don't they? Aren't they the perfect size, balance-wise? Because they're three mil. The gemstones four mil. Perfect. You've got rose quartz, rose gold. Yeah. They're just lovely. Tom, I dare you under a fiver. I dare you. He can't say no to a dare. <laughs> now today, 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 we're in our Queen of Hearts day. Now we've obviously therefore, what does that mean, Queen of Hearts? Show me what does Queen of Hearts Day mean? Well, well, Princess Diana always wanted to be that, didn't she? The Queen of People's Hearts. And you think of the heart of the ocean in in um, Titanic. Other movies are indeed available. Oh, do you know what I watched on Saturday after my morning show? I went having a really fancy... I haven't watched a movie in ages, and I watched a movie me and my mum used to watch together, Always, with Richard Dreyfuss and Holly Hunter. Not seen oh, it. Oh, it's the most amazing... It's called Always. Does stuff blow up? That it's about, it's about uh, the, the, the pilots that put out fires in planes. Oh, cool. And it's like an original ghost story, effectively. It's beautiful. And Aww. it's just like, Holly Hunter, Richard Dreyfuss, it's got, um, who's the big guy um, in, no, the big actor, John Goodman. John Goodman, he's in it as well. It's really, if ever you want to see it, it's the most beautiful film. It's called Always. It's an old film. Well, my mum's been gone 19 years and we used to watch it together. But it's amazing. It's brilliant. It's really brilliant. So give it a try. Other films are available. But it's, okay, a snowflake. A snowflake obsidian. Now, there are, uh, obsidians are, tend to be the most common colour of obsidian is black. Mm -hmm. Just occasionally, like we had on the show a few weeks ago, those amazing silver obsidians, which are super rare. And then there are certain effects in obsidian that occasionally come out, your silvers, your golden sheens. And then unusual effects that you get in, a, in, a, in an obsidian, which is actually a snowflake effect. Now, that's rare. That's not a... That, that's like a, a, a strange phenomenon that occurs in a... You know, in a more, we would expect to see a black obsidian. Mm -hmm. You think of obsidian, you think black. So these are truly fab fascinating. 
And we've actually set these into a lovely big hard design. I mean, gosh, 30 mil down, 29 mil at the widest point. We've put the loop into position. Again, the second you see that price at the bottom of the screen and not in your graphics is because it's an illegal price point. We should definitely have a noise for that, a little recording to say that naughtiness has occurred. I think so. What noise could we have? <coughs> no, but that, to me, my head suggests wrong. And although it is wrong, it's right. Mm. But we need, I think, nice attempt, but I think we need a slightly different noise. Send the bar, it's like going... Yeah, we don't want to think that the, the producer's going to get locked up. That's too harsh. <laughs> no, any ideas? Any ideas to what price point, what sound we could have? Text in on 60777. <laughs> Start your text with James Studio. Let's have some ideas. All, all live message through jewelrymaker.com or the app. What noise could we have to celebrate an illegal price point? And turn celebrate it into a positive. A great word. Yeah, I like that. Celebrate it. Celebrate it. Mm. Not, 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 not tell off. Celebrate it. <laughs> See, now that, that makes me think naughty. Come to it. Come with me. <laughs> now, you know those citrines? You've got to have lemon and lime, haven't you? Mm hmm And if you like a cheeky G&T, other drinks are available. You've got to have lemon or lime because you don't know what people have these days. See, Leah likes lime, I like lemon. Jen? See, I don't drink tonic water, I'm allergic to quinine, so I have to go a slightly different way, just have a soda water and okay. enjoy the purity. Yeah, but I mean lemon, fresh piece of lemon or lime. Mm. Yeah, not, not the mixer. I'd have to be a lime. A lime. I think yeah. a lime. Mm. Yeah. Because then, you know, mojito. Absolutely. <laughs> now, what we've got here, I've got to show them together to give you that lemon and lime effect. We have got these... I disagree that they're small nuggets. Sorry, again, I think we have this sizest... I have a bit of a clash with the sizest situation in the team um, I think they're actually quite considerable size and the brightest the reason I put them against the the warmth of the yellow because that would should subdue that down but it can't it cannot subdue a peridot a peridot is a peridot reminds me in the gemstone world of like a, a buoyancy aid so you know, you know like when you give arm kid arm bands to kids to learn to swim or a rubber ring that to me in the gemstone world is how I perceive a peridot. That's a wonderful way Because it can't of sink in vibrancy. Yeah. Yeah. Now again, he's sticking under five pounds. Our Mr. Producer. So for this peridot and the citrine I've just shown you together, seven pounds ninety for the two. Both strands. Eighty carrots. Of peridot. Tree 95. Wouldn't they be beautiful on Tree of Life designs? Just yeah. such a vivacious yeah. splash. Yeah. And again, it really glows on your skin tone. Mm. I got Tom, I suggested a film, Age of Adeline. You can't watch a film for 10 minutes, that's ridiculous. It'd be like if you watched Shawshank Redemption for 10 minutes, you wouldn't get it. It's a film you've got to watch to the end and it's wonderful. So you missed out there. You missed out. Harrison Ford comes into it later. See, you, you didn't give it enough time. Honestly, these boys, they want everything immediately, don't they? Hi, hi, hi. Hi. Why do I think we all feel like that these days? I don't think it's just boys. I think it's everybody now. Life's too quick. We want everything instantly, don't we? Where was the joy of waiting for something and enjoying it? Enjoying the moment, being in the moment. Like this. Perido, snaffle it. Now, did Lena message in? Because she's here. Lena, crazy cat lady. Did she mention it? Did she message in? We asked her about the, uh, the cat charm. Stroke chihuahua. Margaret, well done having three. Oh, she is in, thank you. I did it, Zena, and yeah, it didn't look anything like a cat. I have to agree, it's a small dog's cat size are more slender. Hiya, Jim, Wolfie. Where's my kiss? <laughs> Wolfie. Peter thinks police siren. Yeah? So, you like that, Peter? Peter's happy with the police siren. Thank you for messaging in. Thank you, Lena. Beverly said, I agree, Zina. I've seen the film always six times. I think I know Aww. it word for word as well. Have you ever watched City of Angels with Nicolas Cage and Meg Ryan? Oh, that is so good. Very, no. Very is it? Heart it's, yeah. So it's not like the musical City of Angels? No. Oh, because I know the musical City of Angels. Oh, I don't, I don't know what you can say about that. Actually. I shall go home and watch that. Definitely I shall go it. home and watch that. It's beautiful. Is it? Right. Yeah. City of Angels. OK, we'll watch that then. Thank you, thank you. We need to share these and have it, because sometimes, like your Saturday afternoon, when I just fancied, I wanted an easy, lovely, romantic film. 
And, I, and it really made me feel lovely when I'd watched it. Really well, you'll did. get all of the feels with City of Angels. All okay. of the feels. Good. Okay. Okay. So, um, right then. You know those spaces I just showed with the rose quartz? Are you doing it in the under five section then? I knew he couldn't help himself, Starboy. Under five pounds, under five pounds, two precious metals. You lucky things. And the good news is, I'm not overly limited on availability either. So there's, there should, hopefully, depends how many you all check out each, if you all do the multi bomb, which I think you might, um, might go pretty quick. Kath says, it's party time with a wolfy whistle for the naughty but nice prices. P.S. Kisses only for me, huh? Oh, they're arguing over it. <laughs> They are arguing over him, <laughs> and he blooming well loves it. <laughs> Lena and Kat. Babes, I don't know how you choose, they're both gorgeous. Honestly, he's not going to get out the door in a minute. My cap's going to pop off. Oh, the, even the code says error. Erf, erf, erf. E double RF10, right. I will check out now, trust us, if you can't see the, the price, it's going under a fiver for 20 sterling silver spaces, not just sterling silver three mil spaces, but we've even encased them in rose gold. <sighs> Sumptuous. They are. Mm. So they are. smooth. Yeah, and with a re really good sort of bead to hole ratio, as you can see here, look at the front, that's easily usable with wire as well. Oh, not just is. cord and thread and fire line and wildfire. Mm -hmm. They look amazing around the edge of your cabochon caught yeah. in wire. Yep. Yeah. Really lovely. Absolutely. And Claire showed us as well, um, she was teaching us how to prong set with the, um, a little bit like the sky blue topaz that we've got as our today's must have. She had one of those in, I think it was sky blue topaz, I think, on Saturday, but it was a double the carat weight size. And in the design, she put sterling silver wall, which we've got in the show today with Gem. And then she added little, little, literally three mil spaces either side of the of the big stone and it looked great. It's fabulous. Really Just lovely. kind of accent your designs yeah. out of the remit of using them as beads. Exactly. Or, like my lovely bracelets that I literally cannot stop wearing, you could recreate one like my silver one here, or mix it up and have two-tone. Yeah, and just do a whole stretchy. They look really... Honestly, I can't stop wearing these bracelets. I put these bracelets on every day now. Wonderful. Every day. First thing I do, when I get out of the shower and I get dressed, before I even put any clothes on, that goes on first. That's now my first dress. First thing I put on. Even before me pants. Yeah. <laughs> We've just taken those to 20p, 20p for a spacer, in two precious metals, 1.6 gram of sterling silver. I did say it was going to be really good. Now, you know I said I had enough to go around? I still have at the minute. And I did say at the minute, emphasis being on the minute. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so, do you know what? She's what I love about you, lovely lot. I don't need to nudge you. I don't have to go. I mean, I'd be stating the obvious, wouldn't I, at that price, saying, hey, check out. You'd be like, don't need telling, love. I'm not sorry. We see something like that, we do not need telling, do we? Nope. That's what, you know, we do not even need a... Because you wouldn't dare leave it in your basket, would you? would be like, I'm not leaving it there. Because <laughs> one of those gonna... instinct things. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. it's sometimes we need to be told and reminded, and other times we just don't, do we? <laughs> it's like... Yeah, why wouldn't I? It's kind of an obvious, isn't it? And they're so versatile. Whether you want to use those in drop earrings, with your wire work, micro macrame, macrame, you know, you do your spacers, you do it as a, a punctuation, you put it in a, a drop earring, you put it above a pearl, below a pearl. There's, there's almost practically, I can't see beading, I can't think of shibori, I can't think of a... What wouldn't you use them in? I can't think of anything no, like that. No, not me. They look brilliant in, yeah. embedded in your Sara Loon as well. Oh, do you know, I was just going to say that. Mm. Baby, you? Thank you. Quite right. You're quite right, chicken. That's why there are... And you know what? Don't, don't be polite. I mean, I know we are. Oh, it didn't make me laugh. We had, they had, there's a guy that they have. Um, I, think, I think he's called William Hansen or something like that. Anyways, the etiquette man is so posh. On Radio 2, other radio stations are available, but he made me... He's so posh. And he tells you how to behave. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he was saying today, he made me laugh. I actually chuckled out laughing in my car, out loud in my car. I was driving to work, and he went... 
Eating at your desk in the office is an absolute no-no. I'm talking about, you know, when you eat at your desk and people call to it, call, refer to it now as El Desco. <laughs> Probably, instead of El Fresco, he called it El Desco. <laughs> and it really... <laughs> I've never yeah, heard so, that. So no, I've never heard it before. I was went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just went, when I was eating at my desk, I thought, this is hilarious, El Desco. <laughs> I thought I was great. It's still making me giggle now. <laughs> you know, Aldesco. <laughs> <laughs> I love any of the new things like that that make you giggle. Anything that makes you giggle is worthwhile, isn't it? Now then, as I say, if you normally buy two, why don't you throw caution to the wind and treat yourself to an extra one? I do that, you know. If I see a really good deal, I always buy in threes. Always. Makes sense, because yeah. then you've got enough to use and a couple spare. Yeah, well, that's what I think. Mm. I think if I've got one to, for myself, because you should look after yourself first, shouldn't you? And then you've got one to give as a gift, or, or to sell, or what, you've got options, haven't you? Whereas if you've only got one and then another one, you, I don't feel like that's enough, I feel like I need extra. I, you know, I can buy my shampoo in threes. You know, I have to buy in threes. <laughs> You've got more pads. Everything's in threes. I don't know oh, why. It's a magic number. It is a magic yeah, I number. I don't, you know, mm. I don't even know I'm doing it. That's only when you realise, <laughs> I bought three of them. It's weird. <laughs> but occasionally I do things like, yes, I bought six deodorant. Six de Well, do you know why? They've stopped doing my deodorant that I like in the supermarkets. I have to order it online now. Aww. So I thought I might as well buy six. Yes. But it's still two threes. Do you see where I'm going? <laughs> still two threes, isn't it? Rose gold plated nine. If you can get those at three ninety five, which we all know, if we're regulars of this channel, we all know that is a naughtier deal than usual. So why not buy them in bulk while you've got the chance, while they're cheaper than they should be? And they make a lovely difference to your wedding designs, your bridal designs as well, because we quite often go for a silver, we quite often go for a classic yellow gold. Exactly. Pop a bit of your rose gold in for quite an elegant touch. Exactly. A bit of vintage gems changing. As well. Yeah, can really mm. mix it up, can't it? Yes. Yeah. Well done. Well done, my lovelies. Um, right then. Cracking first hour, mister. Cracking. Oh, he did the whole hour under a fiver, didn't he? I think he deserves a round of applause. <laughs> Mrs. Stewart, do you want to stand up and take a bath? Come on. Mind your head. Yeah, mind your head. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready. There hey. he is. I know you can't see him very much, but, you know. So can you start wearing a high vis jacket? Can you start wearing a high vis jacket so we can see you properly? Eh? Do you mean pardon, mm. darling? Um, right then, my lovelies, we're get, we've still got that coming up. Don't, I know everybody wants it, I know everybody wants it. But after the break, we've only gone and given Jem Moldavite in her kit. I told her the price of the kit in the dressing room and she was very pleasantly surprised. See, after the break. <laughs> Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that if you go to JewelryMaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you'd like more information on up-and-coming shows, you can view the program guide on our website. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. 
Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. We've got much in uh, cold shoulder, they call it. Cold shoulder. They call mm. it the cold shoulder, don't they? <laughs> Which, mind you, would be quite nice to get a cold shoulder at the minute, but you just can't get a cold anything, can you? Do you know what? You really shouldn't go walking around in them because you end up with the weirdest tan lines. Yes, yeah, there is that. There is that. Yeah, it's a very good very Like good in the 70s when all geography teachers wore patches on their jumpers. It's like <laughs> that, but in, in skin <laughs> tone. It's <laughs> not clever. Yeah, hello. Mwah. We are. Uh, you were surprised when I told you the price of your kit, weren't you? Yes, I was thinking around 2.5 times that price. Yeah, she did. But I said, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Now, the reason that she's in shock is because we have got, not only have we got some lovely stunning silver wire, but we've, oh, oh please don't drop it, Zena. We have also <laughs> got a Moldavite in her kit. That's so lucky. <laughs> in her kit. Kit. Rare, glorious, decent, jolly well sized 2.2 carat solitaire of a lovely gemstone that is known as Moldavite. This a wonderful gemstone that they say is born of the stars. I love that word, born of the stars. It's a beautiful way of Isn't thinking it? of it. Isn't it though? And you think that's, you know, it is outer space. If this meteorite had not struck our planet from outer space, we would never, the planet would not have created Moldavite. That's fucking amazing it's to think about. It's something else, isn't it? Because you Absolutely. think everything else we've got is either already in our seas yep. and oceans or already in the ground. Made of the material that's here. Exactly. Yeah. But there had to be something that, that came to us like an extraterrestrial, effectively, an alien source, i.e. a meteorite, that had to have been out there and struck our planet. And if that didn't happen, no Moldavite. we'd no Moldavite. Isn't that incredible? Mm. Hey! I'm not, I, and this is the only gemstone. This is the only gemstone that can, that can, that can, that can say that. Look at that. And it really is out of this world. There is no two ways about it. Now, I'm just, I'm just, I'll, I'll, explain, I'll explain to you what Moldavite is in a minute, but I also wanted to say to you, because we were talking about um, sterling silver earlier, we have sterling silver wire. So we have beautiful sterling silver wire in two different gauges. We've got five metres, goodness gracious me. Five metres of 0.4. You love sterling silver wire, don't you? I really do. Yeah, yeah. You, it gets you a bit all... Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so five metres of 0.4. One meter of 0.8, so you've got some more structure in there as well. So you've got two different sterling silver wires. You'll see what Gem's done with the uh, with the kit in a moment. We'll uh, unleash that wonderful <laughs> out of this world jewelry as well onto you, uh, so you can see it. But just to show you one more time, this beautiful moldavite, big carat weight. Now, if you think about it as well, if you went up in a space rocket, 
And you went up, up into the atmosphere and up above the planet about 13 to 15 miles. You think of the pressure up there. Oh, you think, I mean, you think of the pressure, like, in the cabin on, a, on, a, mm -hmm. on an aeroplane when you go up, what, 30,000 <laughs> 30, feet? Yeah? It's a, it's a pressurised cabin. It is, It's the yeah. same as if you go scuba diving. You, they get you, when you learn to scuba dive, you, they get you to take a, 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 te a ten tennis ball down with you. So that you learn how to equalise when you come back up and you have to stay below the surface for five minutes or so, five metres down. And you take the tennis ball down with you and when you watch what it does to the tennis ball, it's so amazing. Well, in that mould of like that, in that gemstone that you're going to work with, there is the equivalent of the pressure at 13 to 15 miles above our planet, locked into that air ball, was locked into that mould of like. That How is cool is that? Crazy. Yeah. It's exciting. And that's tested by NASA. Wow. NASA. I mean, NASA are that fascinated by this gemstone, they study it. I mean, come on. Eh? Do you know one of my favourite things about Moldavine? Go on. Is the impact was in Bohemia. In southern Germany, I want to say? Czech Republic. To the Czech, Czech Republic. Republic. Okay. Oh. So it's, it was in an area that was called Bohemia at one point in time. Oh, and wow. I love that. I wow. think that's amazing. It's called the Reese Crater. That's is what it's called one. now. R I E S. The Reese Crater. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's uh, it was a big it was a big deal. Thank goodness we weren't here. So fourteen point seven, fourteen point eight million years ago, this beauty arrived, and we're so glad it did. Uh, but we haven't known about it for that long. But um, sadly, the commercial mining on this gemstone isn't going to last much longer. It's only a matter of years. Now, when I asked uh, Jem in the dressing room and said, "What? How much for the kit? What did you say?" Ninety nine ninety five. I thought we, if we were going to smidge that under £100, I would think that's where we were So you looking. think 52 is good? I think that's cracking already. But I'll stop in there. <laughs> oh, no! I know! I <laughs> know! Uh, so if you want an out-of-world gemstone, an out-of-this-world gemstone, with out-of-this-world jewellery, and an out-of-this-world unbelievable price point, you've got everything you want this uh, today on The Late Show. On a Moldavite Monday, Late Show. Please tell me it's a Monday. It is. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Sorry. I had a sudden panic then that it wasn't Monday. Uh, it is. It's a Moldavite Monday. <laughs> well, I've got Moldavite Monday Late Show. Put it that way. Because I've got lots of Moldavite... Well, I don't say lots. I've got different variations. Now, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It was a Very struggle elaborate. to know whether to pop it onto a black bust or a white bust. But no, I wanted I get to show yeah, yeah. the beauty of the stone yeah. above everything else. Yeah. So forgive me if the, the wire is a bit sort of bleached on that one. But no, I get it. And isn't the, um, isn't the, uh, the faceting on that Moldavite really, really extraordinary? Absolutely exquisite. Yeah. I wouldn't even know where to begin. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's a big size as well. Um, a two, oh, now that kit's proving very popular at that price point. I'm not surprised. For those of you that have ever tried to buy Moldavite as a loose gemstone on its own, You'll know that 39.95 shouldn't really include the sterling silver wire. No chance. Now, while you check that kit out, obviously because it has got Moldavite, we don't have many of the kit available, and the Moldavite does come in a little collector's box as well. Sweet Pea, what are you going to teach us how to do? Well, we'll have a look at the main feature of the pendant that includes the Moldavite. Brilliant, yeah. Um, I also made a variation of this pendant just to uh, show what else you can do with the silver, which includes a ruby that I found in one of our beautiful drilled pear drop bags, oh, okay. which we, we haven't got this evening, uh, but I know that there are some exciting things that you can find. So if you wonder Brilliant. why there's a little ruby, it's because I had it on my desk and I just chucked it. No in. problem. That's <laughs> the little uh, snappy lid box that you get to your, your piece of Moldavite in, which is so exciting. They're lovely. It makes you feel like... Uh, well, you're a proper collector. collector. You're a proper Absolutely gemstone collector. collector. Yeah, it's wonderful. Okay. So we're going to have a look at creating a basically prong set woven back way of capturing the gemstone. And then from there, I can show you some okay. key ideas and techniques and how you can enlarge the Brilliant. design. Great. Or you can leave it sort of simple if you prefer. Okay. So I'm working to begin with, with the heavier gauge of the so silver the wires. Which is 0.8 in this kit? Yep. Yep, I couldn't remember if it was one mil or 0.8. Point eight, yeah. Which I have a length here which is about five to six inches, which is going to be enough to show you the basic technique. So we're going to just warm that between thumb and forefinger a little bit. And where this has come off the end of the reel, if there are any sort of straggly bits, then you can either choose to save that for balling up, or you can trim that away and recycle later, or give it a bit of a straighten out. So what we're going to do is find the approximate centre of the place, of, mm -hmm. of the piece of wire rather, 
And we're going to use any pair of flat facing pliers to make our first prong. So we're looking to generate a really nice sharp right angle, like so. So you can see that I've just popped that in the jaws to create that first right angle. So the next thing I'm going to do is turn that right angle into a, a flattened Z, if you like. Oh, easy. So it is super easy to work with this. And the next thing we're going to do is bring our upper section of the Z all the way around. And I'm going to do this by hand to show you the quality of the wire that we're working with. Oh, wow. Just that bringing it back on itself, it is malleable. And then, again, flat-facing pliers. What I'm going to do is a little pinching technique, and I'm just very slowly pinching <coughs> the end of that to make into a prong. So if I show you that on the back of my hand, and if I show that to Michael as well, you can see how we're moving on. Now, there are two techniques for turning this into a prong, and the easiest one is to grip with your flat-facing pliers. I'll show that to Michael again. And I'm just going to turn that so that we're looking to create a continuous line all the way along with the prong sticking down like so. OK? So if I can show that to you on number four now, we've got our prong. And what you will need to do is just take a moment to make sure that you're happy that that's all nice and flat. So what we now need to do, as well as getting your prong upright in the centre of your straight line, we're going to take a look at the first dimension of the gemstone itself because we want to create a cage that is larger than the gemstone but not grossly larger. So I'm showing you here one that I was playing around with before the show just to give you an idea. It's probably about a millimetre at top and bottom and maybe half a millimetre either side. So if I move this back out of the way, this is what we're working towards creating. And how we're going to do that is to just come in on the base of that prong and look at the size of the bottom. I've decided to set this portrait mode as opposed to landscape mode. Okay. So I need to kind of measure that and take an estimation of where I need my next bend to be. So at the moment, my prong is coming out in the same plane as the desk and I need the wire to come back up to me equidistant either side of where the prong sits. Now, because of the quality of the wire, if you get that slightly not centralised, you will now have the opportunity with a finer tipped pair of bent chain nose pliers just to make that sit exactly centralised. Now you can see here I've gone for a slightly more rounded approach to those corners. They're not as sharp as the first bend we made and that's to reflect the shaping of the piece of moldavite that we're working with. It's got softer, cushiony corners rather than very harsh, square corners, if you follow my logic. Yep. So I just need to make sure now, if I can show you above, that that sits nice and centrally and I'm happy with the direction that my piece is taking. So I flip that around, flip this around up here and give it tiny little movements, tiny little tweaks, gently to begin with, and then you can be sure that you're getting this to sit exactly right without overstressing the wire. So I now need to repeat this once on this side and once on this side so that we can create a little cage to carefully ensconce. Yeah, that's a nice word. It's not the right word. It's a nice word. Yeah, we'll use that. <laughs> we want to encase our Moldavite safely. So you can see the direction of the prong that we've already got. We want to reflect that now on both sides. So you can see I accidentally caught the one side, but because of the quality of the beautiful wire we're working with, it's not a problem. So I've got two strain, strands of wire coming up in the same direction as our first prong, and we're going to replicate that prong now. Okay. So I'm going to repeat the same technique that we did at the beginning. Okay. So if you wanted to bring the yes, piece in, shall I do that? then it's, I'm just going to repeat exactly what I did to begin with, which was to create the bend, the Z, fold it down. And can I just say earlier as well, when the camera pan, panned back to me, I was looking down like that. Well, I wasn't ignoring Jeb, but I dropped the smoky cords in my lap. I was like, oops. <laughs> so when I the camera came back, that. I was like that. I was thinking, because I'm normally so busy watching you, but I was like, oh, I've lost the stuff. I'm sorry. I was actually thinking I was ignoring her. I wasn't. I didn't I said, think you were ignoring no, me. No, I, I never would. I'm amused, but I, but I did have it. I was like, where's that? <laughs> what are you doing? So sorry. <laughs> I have, just to get you all, just to whet your appetite for our today's must have sky blue topaz, oh. I, thought, I thought we'd throw in. Just, have you got 
you put that on pre-order? You bad boy, you're not supposed to do that with a today's must have. The sky blue tote pass today's must have at eight o'clock on pre-order. <gasps> so to get you ready, five carat solitaire in a smoky quartz. Oh, you know that smoky quartz was Scott. Shut Scott up, stop it, we're there. not going to listen to you, Michael. Concave cut, round stone. Everybody knows it's the National Gemstone of Scotland. We don't need to say it every time. No, they know. are fully aware. Sharp coulee. Beautiful. Now, that's what I want to show you there. Look, it looks like, the, effectively, like a concave cut. Oh. It's almost like the, the sort of the, the top of a spinning top. Mm. Or a, the circus top. And what that does, there's a multitude of wonderful swirling facets around that spinning top. When you turn that around, you get this explosion of light through the gemstone, like a firework going off right in the centre of the gemstone. Are you actually kidding? I was going to say, you're being silly now and nobody likes a show off. <laughs> I, I, think, I didn't know Excuse that. me, hang wow. on a sec, hang on. It comes in a gift box. I bet the gift box should be 3 95 It That's comes in a gemstone amazing. display box as well. Can I have a look at the girdle cutting on that, please, yep. ma'am? That's absolutely exquisite. Oh, no. That's artisan cut. Now, five carats of smoky quartz in a concave cut. Now, a concave cut is about two and a half times more expensive and two and a half times minimum as long to cut as a standard brilliant cut. Wow. So there is real, real expertise in that lapidary work there as well. So to actually buy the stone, I can't quite decide what we say here because there's no way you could get a lapidarist to cut that for 3 95 let alone the cost of the smoky quartz itself. Now, understandably, therefore, with the display box, that's about to sell out. Amazing, absolutely amazing. It's, I, would, I would suggest you and I get one, but it's not going to happen, my friend. I had to go. <sighs> oh, that's I amazing. I think I, I've got six. It, w it will sell up. Um, I have wow. rough pieces of mould of height. This is so exciting. This, to me, is the kind of thing that I would just have in my, in my collection. Yes. I would do anything definitely. with it. That, to me, is just the joy of owning little fragments of the meteoric Moldavite. It's cabinet worthy uh, with a little backlight. Exactly. And that's exactly where it's going in my cabinet in my study. Six. We made 75. 69 have gone, therefore. We're brown out to work then. 69 have gone. Uh, Sharon, you got a chance if you're really quick, my love collectors. You really got to be quick. These sell out in seconds. We only had six from the Czech Republic, from the Reese Crater. And I wouldn't mind whopping great big pieces as well, That's look. Massive, absolutely huge. Natural, genuine Moldavite. And that rippling effect, especially that you see on this giant piece here, is so natural when it comes yeah. to Moldavite. It's, it's how it forms when it impacts, isn't it? It's absolutely glorious. Do you know how fast that impact is? 13 miles per second it travelled. Cool. Which is 45,000 miles per hour. That is faster than me getting my first cup of coffee Absol in the morning. Yeah. 45,000 miles per hour that impact. Wow. That's, now if you think what's the best we drive at, what? If, if we're legal. 70. <laughs> 70 miles an hour if we're legal. Isn't it? 45 <laughs> thousand miles per hour you'd have to think quite fast wouldn't you just <laughs> and every single parcel that you get will be have different sizes I and mean, you can see there the example in the shoot in the recording box is slightly different to mine you might get lots of big pieces you might get uh, you might get some of the smaller pieces as well now i've got to say to you i'm over allocated if you all check out i'm in minus figures on the moldavite and that's not a place you want to be if you are interested this is the last rough we've got in the assortment of the rough that's it I haven't got any more in the vault. It's fabulous. I'd yeah. absolutely be prong setting the larger pieces and creating resin or gone pieces yeah. with the smaller ones. It's absolutely stalling. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Are Mighty you ready man. for a sweet pea? Yeah, absolutely. So I'll just show you where we've got to, which was to create another couple of prongs on the side. And I've made them a little bit higher than I anticipated. Um, but if I show you the kind of dimension that I would be looking for, it would be just a little bit smaller. Okay. Okay, so I'll show you how to create the shoulders at the top, which is very, very easy. We're coming 
again to create almost like a perfume bottle shape on either side and again if that has occurred a little bit shorter or a little bit further than you wanted it to that's not a problem you can kind of tweak the wire to sit exactly how you want it to so I'm just going to straighten that bit out again and draw it around drop it over the top of the stone and see how we're doing and if it is too small we're not going to worry because we can kind of elongate that but that actually doesn't look too bad as you can see right about now that that's fitting quite nicely so to create the curves to go over the front of the stone yep just pop those to one side i use two pairs of pliers when i'm doing this technique and you can if you prefer make the prongs a lot shorter and have it sitting closer to the uh, side of the gemstone um, and what you will need to do then is just ensure that you've got enough to bring over the surface so that it's nice and secure so you can see that I'm just resting the prong where you might go at the sort of the shorter end of the scale okay I've done overly long prongs because it's easier to demonstrate for you I'm going to pop the, the stone back down to the table I'm gripping the prong at its base right now in some flat facing pliers and this is to support the frame and I'm coming with the curved side of my bent chain nose pliers to put that curvature on and you can see that the wire is just working exactly how I want it to moving on to the next one grip that into position and curve over so you can see that very quickly you would generate lovely a lovely little basket if you like to encase your gemstone now if I pop this down on the, the table face down so my prongs that have been all three of them have been curved over that's down on the table now and I'm going to drop facet side down flat side up into position so you can just see how that fits in quite nicely and all I will do here on the back is to create a little cradle using some of the finer wire which is 0.4 mil gauge yep. you don't need a huge amount so I'm just going to trim away a short section of about eight or so inches more than we need but it gives you an opportunity to utilize it at the neck of the design okay and very very quickly all you would do whiz around three times on one section behind where the moldavite sits and yep. then thread backwards and forwards across the design just one time I can show you how that would work and whiz around and back over to the other side obviously that's a little bit more tricky once your stone is in position but it's yeah. much easier to show you without okay. that's all there is to it brilliant. really really easy to prong right. set your moldavite fantastic okay. Brilliant. And Suzette's just messaged in as well and she said, I clocked that message from you, Suzette. I know I didn't read it out, but I think you might have just said you managed to pre-order this Sky Blue Topaz six carat solitaire. Amazing. Shall we give her a quick flash? Or can we? Can shall we, we shall we? <laughs> Let's give her a quick flash because she's just managed to get it on pre-order. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. I want that and the smoky we all want and that. the mold of Well, you're not gonna get the smoky. No. Sorry. We had 153 of these, they're on pre-order, and I've got less than 50, over 100 have gone. Over wow. 100 have already gone, so a lot of you are doing it. Are we calling it, uh, we're calling it, have you done a Suzette? Six carat solitaire sky blue topaz. Wow, wow, wow. Do you want the code? U, S for sugar, N for Nelly, V for victorious if you get it. <laughs> 53. That's Have I got, sorry, am I giving the wrong carrot weight out? What did I say? It's a three carrot. I'm doing but did I say I'm not sure what I said. Not sure. It's three carrot, just in case. Three carrot. <laughs> I can't remember what I said. I don't know if I have said it right or wrong, but three carrot. Wow. Three carrot. I didn't say you're my favourite person in the world, Tom. You're one of. One of. Now I've got this strand. Uh, oh, it, was, wow. it was launched, I can tell you exactly when it was launched, on the Friday of the birthday week, on the Late Show, on the 4th, and I had these, and I... I uh, that was lots of little strands. Yeah. All different colours, it's the festival, it's all the colours of JM in one strand of pearls, but I've only got a few. So it was our JM birthday colours, in all these lovely colours, so that's one strand, there's your next colour, there's your next colour, there's your next colour. Put that down so you can see. Oh, There's your, now, we, now, we had some turquoise blue pearl nuggets on the show yesterday morning. Sold out in seconds. 
and then there's your last colour. Cool. So you've got like a magenta, then you've got the turquoise blue, then you've got the deep amethyst purple, then you've got that lovely peridot, chatras green, then you've got that lovely lemon curd, and then you've got that beautiful sort of salmony coral pink. That's a metre. In, let's just see, one, two, three, four, five, hang on, so that's six colours, one, two, three, four, five, six colours. And that's what we've only got. How many left? <laughs> Ten. There you go. That'll be why then. I'm what not a, surprised. What a great way to introduce people to coloured pearls. Yes. Yeah? There's a little bit of something to appeal for everyone. And also, we're in the kids' summer holidays, I'm told. Judging by the sound of the neighbours' gardens. <laughs> They're louder than usual. <laughs> I, even had to, I, put, I, got home, I got home last night, after being at my friends helping them with their finances. Got home, it's about 11 o'clock at night. I said, play one, one day I'll fly away, Randy Crawford. Bang, she comes on. I got it up high. I'm outside watering, singing, and I suddenly thought, it's 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> I better turn the music up. But then I thought, actually, no, leave it, because you keep me awake all day. <laughs> with you yapping and shouting, and can I be blue back? <laughs> I did. I did go and turn it down. I wasn't that mean. I did think, oh, they're all in bed. <laughs> anyway, 9.95. So that's nice for the kids to get them involved, isn't it? And how wonderful to induce, introduce the kids to pearls at an early age, but with a bit of fun. Definitely, they yeah. are fun. Wish yeah. I'd been introduced to pearls when I was a kid, <laughs> properly. So they're just like these. You'll never be able to have them because they're too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've, I've got to say, me, Gemini, Gemini cannot... This is how rare these are. I've never seen them on Jewelry Maker ever. Ever. Have you? No, I, I've not been in. I heard they were on, but I missed out. I couldn't oh, even see a I, photo. I hadn't even heard they'd been on. Just I hadn't even heard that. I didn't even know we got them. Knew us that they were in a kit, and now we've got the last five. We only make... Well, they'll only be 26. I'm surprised there's even 26. We've got citrine, but only the best. Do you know what the best citrine is? Go on then. Madeira. Madeira. Oh. Madeira. Oh. Oh, because of the, named after the fortified wine of Madeira. And that, bearing in mind I have a bottle of fortified Madeira wine in my cupboard at home from Madeira when I holidayed there, I can absolutely wholeheartedly tell you that that is the colour. Of your Madeira citrine. We have only ever made 26. We had 21 in kits that all sold out and I have five on their own available to you today. Now the first question that Jem asked off camera in the break was, I take it they're heated because that would be a very fair assumption because mm -hmm. a lot of Madeira citrine is mm -hmm. heated. Not these five. And boy, did my eyes sparkle. <laughs> Not these five. They are the real deal. They are completely genuine. And they are 100% natural. I've got a Madeira Citrine ring at home. Oh, it's one of my most prized possessions. Isn't that lovely? 36 carats of Madeira Citrine. Do you know this is going to sound the, weird, the weirdest thing? Do you know I've never worn it out of the house? I'm so scared. No. I'll only wear it if I'm doing a dinner party and it's in my house and people come to the house. I won't wear it out anywhere else. I've got an Australia light ring like that. Do you, well, you know yeah. how I feel then, don't you? <laughs> I'm going anywhere out my property with this Madeira Citrine ring. I love it too much. It's too important to me. Oh, I've never admitted that on any, to any... I've never admitted that to anyone. Is that... But you're the same. No, I totally get There's it. There's certain things that you just think, I couldn't, no. I couldn't bear to be without it. I couldn't. And I just won't risk it, so you're the same as me. This is incredible, natural, just, it, it, it's one of the most exotic citrines with the most wonderful, warm, spicy tone that is so Moorish, mm. I can't actually put it into words. It is exotic. Oh, it's, it's, you will fall in love, there is no way you can't. Do you know what it always makes me think of? Go on. Sitting in a, a beautiful tent with scattered velvet cushions yeah. and tassels in the yeah. corners, eating Turkish delight, yeah. obviously. Uh, in the desert. In the desert. In the Moroccan desert. Yes. Oh, it, yeah. It makes me think of North Africa. Excuse me. 
isn't oh, it? Oh, you need to get that in natural daylight. Do you know, because actually down there, it looks quite dark. Look at that. Absolutely reds. Look glorious. at those reds and golds and oranges in there. The gold and orange is just amazing. Oh Got a draw hundred. Oh, can you bring the call centre? <laughs> <laughs> Please! Please! This is one of those strands, I don't mean to sound and boss you and tell you what to do, but it's one of those strands that if you can guarantee that that's natural and prove it, it's worth everyone, every penny of that 25 pennies there to get your authenticity card. And if you can get a whole, a whole strand of 36 carats of rare, natural Madeira citrine, first time I've seen it on Jewelry Maker in three and a half years in my personal time of presenting on this channel. Um, if I could own a necklace or a bracelet to go with my Madeira citrine ring that I refuse to wear away from my house. And that's the only piece of jewellery I'm like that with. Really? Yeah. And yeah, I'm, I love bad. my crown jewels, but I have to, I have to, that has to go with me. Yes. I have to, but my, my, this, this, it's a, it's a decent sized carrot you know ring, what? I'll grant you, but. It would look amazing with chrome day upside as well. It's one of the first things exactly. I thought. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Do get that authenticity card, Denise in California, sweet pea. If you manage to get that for yourself today, my love, and you can see the glow on the, on the, on the, um, on my skin tone, but it needs that natural daylight to perform. It really does. I've got collectors coming in as well. And the lovely thing is, 30 days to get to know this. Gosh, absolutely fabulous. I know you won't want to send that back, though. So do bear that in mind. You are not going to want to return it. There's something spectacular about it. It's warmth, isn't it? The glow. <laughs> I can tell you actually don't want to put that down. No. no. <laughs> Never. Uh, which one, sorry? Oh, exciting. Moldavite, brilliant cut over. Moldavite, brilliant cut over. Ha 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 The answer to that question, do you want to do something ridiculous, is always yes, Tom, producer. Really, really stupid, always yes. Yes. No, he's making me nervous. Yes. <laughs> yes. Last chance, he said. Moldavite, is it natural? Yes. Is it from the original source? Yes. Is it natural? Yes. Is it genuine? Yes. Is it a quarter of a carrot? Yes. Is it solitaire worthy in a ring? Yes. Do you think you can afford it? Yes. I, I'd get Fleur to put that in a bezel set, little solitaire stacker ring with a wibbly wobbly band. That, that's amazing. Ooh. Oh, don't take this the wrong way. I'm telling. <laughs> I am proper telling. I don't know who I'm going to tell, but I need to tell somebody. Oh, my word. Oh, because that's a nice size solitaire. It is. In Moldavite. If you wanted to go really exotic, you could make that the head of the snake. It's got a really <gasps> lovely colour to oh, it. Oh, for a serpent design. For a serpent oh. snake design that just oh. sort of wraps around your finger and heads off up the, the back of your hand. I wouldn't mind, it comes with a, a display box. Oh, do you know what, Nicola? <laughs> I do not blame you, Flower. Are you thinking... <gasps> Excuse me? Trilogy ring. Oh, Are you yes. thinking trilogy ring, Nicola? If Nicola. you do, can we see it? Please, please, please. Send it into the wharf. Could you get... You could get a trilogy out of that, you know. Oh, I would. Yeah? Yeah. You could do a trilogy ring. Just Definitely. if you curve the head of the ring enough, yep. you can use quite substantial stones to make a trilogy. I mean, it's, it's substantial in and of itself to make a beautiful solitaire, or as we were saying, in a slightly more exotic design, but a trilogy of Moldavite. Wow. That is incredible. I have never... How are we doing these prices on these single <laughs> solitaire gem quality stones, hon? <laughs> OK, can I just have an update as well on the amount of the sky blue topaz, sweet pea, because that is... We had, this, we had a situation yesterday that has never happened to me on Jewelry Maker before. I put some blue Terra Jasper on, we, we put it on pre-order, I agreed it with my producer Ollie. By the time I brought it to air, 15, 20 minutes later, they'd all sold out. Ooh, Every one of them. Risky. Well, I'd never had it before, I didn't think it was going to go that quick. It was, I blinked and it had gone. They'd snaffled the lot. Now imagine white pearls with that as Ooh. a solitaire in the centre. You're with me, aren't you? Like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I take it there aren't many of those um, Moldavites left. 
No, no. I take it they're all going to sell out. Yes. Bye. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Oh, they're cute. They are. Little good ones. Yes, we'll stick with a the ridiculous theme, <laughs> shall we? Yeah. I'm sure. Um, I've reached an age of maturity of a woman where I don't need to be asked three times. I know my own mind, thank you. Mm-hmm. We, when we say yes, Once we mean it, don't we? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> no, we said ridiculous. You didn't say you were going to be... You didn't... You didn't... That's beyond ridiculous. What, what is that? How it's monstrous! It's what, sorry, X Factor Man? Monstrous. <laughs> don't you get in line properly, like an X Factor Man. Oh, X Factor. It's absolutely monstrous! Can't do it as you... I love it when he does that. Heather shows Can you not say it like gladiators, man? Goes, it's a monstrosity! <laughs> <laughs> the price, not the pearls. <laughs> <laughs> now then, mister, can you give me some information on those pearls? Because if you tell me they're natural and you've taken them to £2.95, there's going to be, there's going to be, there's going to be trouble. Oh, there's going to be trouble then. We'll sit him on the naughty step. We've just taken, let's give it, let's give it, come on, let's work it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, two, two, twenty-three pearls on there. Thirteen P. Oh my god. For gosh. a genuine natural pearl. Make, make a lovely bracelet out of that. You absolutely could. Wouldn't it be lovely with the rose gold plated sterling silver spacer beads? Yes, it would. It's twenty-six <laughs> pence for a pair of earrings. Can I just check something with my with my Wolfie? Wolfie, hmm? why do you always side with the producer and not the presenter? Aren't we both? Aren't you friends with both of us? No, 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 no buts, no buts. Why is it you always side with him? Because if, if I don't do it, he'll he'll kind of you know sulk. He'll that's su that's sulk. not that's not good enough. What about if I sulk? Well, you can't until we're off air. Ah. <laughs> I said you can't till you're off air, you're not allowed. He's got a point. I could sell. He's got a point. No, you're not allowed to oh. either. He's got okay. a point. He's got a point. See me in the break. <laughs> I do love these. These are what? Oh. Last 26 in the world. Wow. Every colour every colour and some unusual colours of Mukite on here actually. Mm hmm They're from down under. They're Bonza. Oh, please tell me they, they say Australia, not Austria, because sometimes we click on the wrong box and it's a bit <laughs> embarrassing. Because you know what, you can't... I'd like to point out, you can't get them from Austria. You can't get them from any other country. Just the Mooka Creek region? Just the Mooka Creek region. What about Croatia? You can't get them in Croatia. Yeah. <laughs> not bad. Oh, stop it, you lot. Oh, they're going to name every place now. Not Redditch. Well, you can get them in Redditch. Via Australia. <laughs> Can I pick a favourite one, please? Oh, you're going to get that one. Nope. Oh. Go on then. This little baby just Oh, you would here. pick one behind me and... Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, why, why is he a he? I don't know. He oh. just is. Sorry, I shouldn't assume his gender. Well, exactly. He's non-gender specific, Mukite. It is non-gender specific. <laughs> non-gender specific, Mukite. Let's not cause problems. I love this gemstone. It's so of its origin, isn't it? It oh, always makes me yeah. think of... I've never been lucky enough to travel in Australia, but I would love to go. It's the Outback. And it, it that, makes me think of the Outback. Okay. That colour there is the under, under sort of, that colour there, it's the mixture of those two. When you see a galah, a galah flying, it's underneath wing is, 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 be is a beautiful pink, a ready pink. And galahs are beautiful. It really, really is. And that is the colour of the out. that is the colours of the Outback. I've, I've stayed in the outback with my cousin, and it was amazing. just been to a bachelor and spinsters do. It was brilliant, forty-seven degrees. It was amazing. I have got that's to hot. show you these with a mukite. Wow, that takes it really feminine, doesn't it? Yeah, it changes the look of the mukite. These beautiful faceted shell pearls. So there's something you'd never be able to do to a pearl. Mm-hmm. Facet, beautiful. Now they're a lovely colour, aren't they? Re uh, they'd go lovely with the frosted coffee we had earlier as well. Oh, which sold out instantly. Faceted eight mil rounds, a lovely pink shell. <laughs> For a fiver, he's been so naughty. <laughs> with the rose gold spaces again. Perfect. And, and with the rose quartz, the rounds. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Now, are there any of those ridiculously priced three mil rose gold plate, rose gold plated 95 sterling silver spacers, please? 
There are, oh, he said there is, he's back to his favourite, smidgen. A smidgen few. A wee smidge. Excuse me, a wee smudge. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, don't you make me think of fudge when you say smudge. I love fudge. <laughs> I love fudge. I do, I love fudge. What about tablet? What? That's like Scottish. Oh, no, when it's mm. the really sugary one. Mm. No, I like proper <laughs> smooth, chewy fudge. I can't eat any oh, of it. I want a <laughs> so, um, the lovely thing about faceted gel pearls is you've got the consistency, you've got the round shape, you've got mm -hmm. facets as well, you've got all different sizes and, and colours as well, and um, you've got that extra protection and the coating so that you can enjoy wearing them and don't stress too much. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to real pearls now, but a lovely <gasps> silver tone. Ooh. Aren't they lovely? Say that again? Oh, oh sorry. You want to be very careful because you're pushing it now. Yeah, hide behind that screen. Whenever he thinks I'm going to tell him off, he goes, not up behind the screen. That's why you can't see. I can't see him. <laughs> so naughty. We are 20 minutes away from the Prince of Wales 20-inch chain. Oh, no, we're not 20 minutes away. 50 minutes? Is it half eight? Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the clock thinking it's sort of, uh, today's must have because it really should be, but we've actually got the sky blue topaz. Um, yeah, we're 20 minutes away from the sky blue topaz, which may have sold out Ooh. before we come to air. I did tell him not to put it on pre order, but he wouldn't listen. He knew better. Wouldn't that be lovely? The sky blue topaz just to draw out yeah. the delicate blues. That would be lovely. A three carat solitaire, brilliant cut, 10 mil round, brilliant cut, sky blue topaz, three colours. I'm still going to say it again, three whole carrots and the price can they can everybody see the price i did say should we just say it then well i'm just thinking about what, what about people on the telephone it's not fair that, that they're not in the know we've got to, they've got to come in the gang are you sure you can do that or should i just say under 20 pounds just to play it safe would you like me to say it Oh, I know what... Go on, you, you can do the X Factor voice. What am I saying? 12.95. £12.95! Ah! <laughs> yeah, coming up in 20 minutes. And the Prince of Wales chain is coming up in uh, 50 minutes. In the meantime, we're back to under five, aren't we? He's gone under five again. Silver pearls. Silver pearls. Oh, I mean, all year long. Can I show you with my top? I've got a blue top with little bits of mm. silver in it. Lovely. It goes really nice, Lee. Just decided to change the word slightly. <laughs> See, look, I've got those little silver squares in my top. Gorgeous. And then you pop silver on with the blue. Do you think I lovely with blue? It does, and, yeah. and again, it just sort of draws the tones. Do you know, I'm sure coming up on the show later, I've got some dyed blue pearls like those. Royal blue. I'm sure I have, you know, Tom? I think I have. So if you like that silver with the blue in my top, I've got some sort of dyed blue, royal blue, deep blue pearls similar to that size coming up. They're Just lovely. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Wow. With, with those silver pearls. Oh, gosh, they're cold. Oh, ow. They're not cold, they are. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, they're refrigerated. Tell you what, that'd be great in this oh, weather. Oh, it really would, wouldn't it? Especially if you've got a crack in town. Yeah, if you've got, if you. Oh, they're so cold. They're lovely. <laughs> also, if you want to, you know, like if you need to cool down a bit, pop them on. Yeah. It's like putting the fridge around your neck. <laughs> wow. Look at that glow. Could that be any brighter? Could that actually? I know I sound like. Is it Joey or Chandler? I never know which one says it. Could that be Chandler. any brighter? It is Chandler, isn't it? Chinandla Bong. Oh. Oh. My. Oh, Chandler, <laughs> she's <Chandler. that's> 270 <laughs> carats. I love that woman. What a great actress. 270 carats. Assuming this is if you watch Friends. Uh, 270 carats of white colour dyed quartz in that lovely 10 mil perfect round. Oh, they're ace. Oh, I'm going to show you something. I'm yeah. going to show you something. It's the first thing that came to mind. Can we do those next, please? That's quite... Am I fair in saying that's quite, that's quite Christmassy as well? Yeah, with the elements, there. with the metallics. Yeah, we'll do those in a moment. These are your lovely... Do you know what they, they always make me think of? Great for ladies who play golf. Yeah, that's true. That's they true. Make, 
they, they make me think of like, like going to the golf club. Like Tom, I'm, I always go to Wilma. Oh, and the Flintstones yep. as well. Yeah, she wears these, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, oh, you are being, you are being politically correct tonight. You're so boring, Tom. Uh, the cartoons are available. Such as Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Sharky and George. What? What's Sharky and George? Sharky and George was brilliant. It was anarchy. It's like Pinky and the Brain. Was Shark brilliant. a shark? Yeah. Who's George then? Oh, it's like a fishy thing. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Mr. Ben. Oh, yeah. I like Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben. Well, he's also, it was getting changed, wasn't he? In that yes. changing room. Fancy dress box kind of thing going on. <laughs> yeah. oh, don't be cheeky. He said it must be a generational thing. <laughs> That's so cheeky. <laughs> Cheeky yeah. man. This is a generational thing. Aren't they cheeky, these kids? Um, we're a bit scared that the Sky Blue Topaz Three Carat Solitaire is going to sell out before we bring it to air in 15 minutes. If you do want it, do get it on, on, on pre order. It's 12 95 US NV 53 is your code. Check Ooh. out quick. I'm definitely going to have NV. Well, we are, mate, because mm. we ain't going to get them. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is classed as a teal. Oh, I love teal. Oh. It's a great, that to me is just the, I think that is all year round pearls. Pearls that you can wear every day to any event. I don't care whether you're pushing a, trolley, a shopping trolley, a shoddy trolley, a shopping trolley, or any other kind of trolley. You might have one of them trolley bags on rollers. You might. Suitcase. No, I don't have one of them. I do quite fancy one though. They do them in zebra oh, patterns. Yeah, I quite fancy one of them. Five ninety. Five. Or is it? Or are the downward arrows taking them elsewhere? <laughs> Under a fiver. Nicely done. Under a five pound note. Full length. Full. Any classical design, you can use them, but I think a mermaid's crown, because there's something a little bit mermaidial about the colour. Mm. You could take it a little bit wacky, a little bit wild. Could, yeah. But classically elegant with the white pearls, as you did earlier with the dyed white yep. quartz. They'd look great. Absolutely they are gorgeous. Fab. Can I show you one more thing as well? Can I please? Let's. Shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we look at these as well? Because that. That's is, what I was saying. Yep. You can either do that, <laughs> you could go with those, I've got coming up as well, or. Or if I take those off just for a second, you could go evening wear. Yes. And go like that. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's like the most elegant tuxedo, like a lady's tuxedo I see in that combination. Yeah. That's a cracking combination, Zena. Oh dear lord, we've started to make that up, haven't we? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> X Factor's coming back soon, isn't it? <clears throat> he takes requests if you'd like your name said out loud. Six zero triple seven. Start your text with JM Studio, and if you'd like your name read out by the X Factor, X Factor man, the more exotic the better. <laughs> the more exotic the better. Oh, okay. Well, we've got some very them. exotic names. Yeah. Now I've asked for that, so you're going to have to read some out if, if anybody messages in. Are oh, you? Yeah, you missed Lena's earlier when I asked, didn't you? Hmm. What you mean, the kid cat? Chihuahua, ch the cat chihuahua, chihuahua, chihuahua. It's a funny word, isn't it? Chihuahua. It's Mexican. Chihuahua. No, I need it. The trouble is, because I'm using it more, it eases up, and then when I wake up in the morning, there'll be nothing there. Mm. <laughs> I'll wake up and I'll go. <laughs> it'll just be a whisper. You can't whisper. It's wor worst thing you can do for your throat, for your voice. Worst thing you can do is whisper. Terrible. Don't whisper. Notepad. Mm. Now, hang on. We are already under a fiver, Tom. Black, glorious spinel. Four ninety-five. I've got thirty-three available, and I've got a full, full thirty centimetre strand there. That's huge. And they're good size black spinel as well. Lucy, can I just ask? Did you do a drink, sweet pea? I didn't oh, have you? Oh, I couldn't see it. Oh, thank you, darling. Oh, she's so lovely. She's keeping... Who wants the... 
I'm not asking that question. You can ask the question, Jim. Would you like to see this a little bit lower? Just... Who's going to say no? Can I, can I join in? I, I would like to see that... A little bit. I can can't we? take black spin out lower than a five. It's just, it's, he said I can. Watch me. Ooh. Brace yourself. Now then, I, I'll Peter. Hello, lovely man. Um, uh, Helena, everybody, if you want it in your basket, if you want this taken lower, he said load your basket and he will. If you don't, he won't. We... Mm. Uh, no, I can't give everybody a chance. <coughs> Give, oh, he's a bit, honestly, I don't know. It's a bit not, feisty, I'm isn't it? I'm three days off again. He doesn't get it because he's been a bit... Feisty. He's been a bit bossy and a bit feisty. feisty. Yeah, uh, I agree. He's proper got one on him. <laughs> right, there you go. Your, ba your baskets are full. We're over-allocated. Go on, do... See? Oh. See? Ooh. We, you've done your Ooh. bit. Ooh. It's down to him now, isn't it? <laughs> Black spinel. Go, Tom, go. <laughs> hey! I love you, Liz. I do. You what, sorry? <laughs> Have you just been to Kent? He's just been to Kent. Did you see Liz? You didn't see Liz. Didn't Not very nice, Kent, is it, Liz? Hmm? He could have could have took you for a coffee, couldn't he? Charming. Anyway, they are about to go. So congratulations. <coughs> Obviously, three ninety-five for black spinels. Proper, proper naughty. But we like being naughty. We do like being naughty, and it's such a, a joy to see a full thirty-centimeter strand. Beautiful, beautiful graduation on it as well. Yeah, it's brilliant. really lovely. Brilliant, brilliant. brilliant. Oh. <gasps> okay. I have had my little eye on this, and I, I didn't dare to dream that it might be, but it, it is. is. <laughs> it is. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, ha I have the last one, three. So we're talking 13. I know that's an unlucky number for some. Oh. That's ridiculous. Oh, it's just delicious. <sighs> I've actually got natural. You might be looking at that thinking, hang on a minute, they cannot be aquamarine. Well, there's a very, very special aquamarine when you get to that kind of saturation of colour tone. Tracy to the stage. <laughs> Wolfie babe. <laughs> she can call me that all night long if she wants. <laughs> Wolfie babe. I like it. Right, can I just say, after that interruption, don't you dare tell me off again in my ear this evening, which you have done several times tonight. Hasn't he? Hasn't he? So apologize, Tracy. No problem. Thank you, Michael. I'd like to apologise to the hombre, Santa Maria, Aquamarine. Sorry. And breathe. <sighs> That's right, welcome. Tracy. Let's welcome to the stage. <clears throat> to the stage, a Santa Maria Aquamarine in a lovely ombre strand. So. If you have a prefix of Santa Maria before an aquamarine, that is going to allude to the colour tone. So the darker the blue, as soon as you start getting, and there is some lovely, lovely ombre variations here. Um, and that Santa Maria is the um, gem mines of Brazil. And that is the colour tone that we're talking about. So if you have a 10 to 30% tone of colour, and you get that kind of variation and those depths of blues in a, in, a, in a Santa Maria, then in an aquamarine rather, then you get to put the suffix of Santa Maria. And we've given you the full range there of almost, almost to the point of, of a pastel blue, a, almost, almost a borderline white, it's so faint. And then as we go through the strand and it increases into those incredible colors, it shows you the journey of those Santa Marias, those, those aquamarines being created. 
It does. It's like every shade of denim. Absolutely. Absolutely beautiful. The sort of almost indigo-y yeah. hints, which is absolutely amazing. But the, the cut work on this strand is, is they're, breathtaking. They're taking it really well, haven't they? And I do love that recording because you get to see the real luminosity from within, absolutely. don't you? Absolutely. I mean, the clarity is sensational. It really, really is. That is incredible, that strand. Absolutely incredible. Zena, oh, please say hello to my wife, Lynn Chapman, as we think you are brilliant. And, oh, I want to just do, oh, hello. And is there a pay rise? Also, oh, okay, feel free. I'll give you the managing director's name and <laughs> email address. And stop it, Michael. Go away. And wish her a happy second. Oh, I've got a second. Sec, second wedding anniversary. Yay. I think. And on, does that say for Friday, I'm guessing? Is it Friday, love? Firstly, Lynn Chapman. Hello, darling. Thank you for that lovely, lovely compliment. That's really, really, really good. Was that Peter? Yeah, thank you, Peter. That's very kind of you. And very, very loving of you to do that as well for your wife. And happy second anniversary for Friday. Happy to you both. Not just a lovely Lynn, but to you. And uh, for the pay rise, that's very kind of you. I don't think it's going to happen, but thank you. <laughs> thank you. Right, we've had a lot of people asking for Michael to read out their name as the X Factor Man. <laughs> we'll do it after the break. Whilst when I get the, Swiss, the Sky Blue Topaz on for you, we'll bring him on set and he can do a few. We had about 20 messages, so you're going to be busy. <laughs> okay, we're, he's going to do all of them in the next hour. So as soon as we've brought in the Sky Blue Topaz gemstone, you're coming on set. So if you could go and do something about that. I have to do it, otherwise I'm, I can talk. If you could do something like that. About that. <laughs> it's sunny. Message from Liz. Aquamarine. Four. Go on, Michael. Give us a four. What in the X Factor? Yeah, go on. Four. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And, and oh, that. that no, fun. I'm gone. I'm sorry. Can we just just for a second? Four. You've got to do that in the X Factor. What? Under fifty pounds for that strand. Riley O'Reilly. It's forty nine ninety five. There you go. Thank you. That's more size of major. Thank you. Thank you. That is incredible, I think we'll agree. It's absolutely astounding. Isn't it? I've got to just say, uh, doesn't it look magical? Now, we've just gone to an autumn wedding weekend. That, if you, if you do have, if you do sort of make bridal commissions, you've got to have those kind of aquamarines mm -hmm. and that Santa Maria in your collection. One of the most valuable rings I've ever been shown, and this is as somebody who makes and sells, people will often come and talk to you about the jewellery that they're wearing. They'll have a favourite piece, a story perhaps to tell. The most expensive piece of jewellery that I've ever laid eyes on a customer was Santa Maria well, aquamarine in a ring. Doesn't surprise me, in the slightest, mate. Okay, I only had 13. I mean, single figures, obviously. So good luck on getting those. Speaking of good luck, in the next hour, I have the three carrot, assuming there's any left, of the sky blue topaz and the Prince of Wales chain as well. Grab them both. <laughs> Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Welcome to Jewellery Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. 
We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button. Fill in the required fields and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen and this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jewellery making journey today. Jewellery Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. At Jewellery Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Now before we start, have we got any left? <coughs> Not many. Um, right then, um, first of all I'm saying this is what we are, we bring you some lovely, we had that lovely smoky quartz earlier. You did in the day today, wasn't it the lovely um, amethyst? I saw that on the show this morning, beautiful. Woo! I have, now there, excuse me a minute before I show you that. There are three types of the blue topaz. The lightest tone and really, but it's a contradiction in terms because it might be light but it's very energetic, is the sky blue. Then it goes into the vivid Swiss blue, then it goes really deep into like a petrol blue and that's your London blue. Every one of those is extremely popular in the, the topaz, in the sort of high gemstone, the gemstone creators, you know, the designers, the big brands, you know, absolutely adore using Topaz, whether it's Sky, Swiss, London, and the reason is it's guaranteed sparkle. So, and a lot of us want our jewellery to sparkle, don't we? Especially in a solitaire piece of gem quality. Now, we'll put the graphics in. I'm just going to put it out there now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally do it this quickly, but it's twelve ninety five. <laughs> I can't say that without laughing. Sorry, it's actually really, I can't actually say it without laughing. And bear in mind, I've got a lot of you buying twos and threes, possibly going for full suites of jewellery. Possibly earrings and a pendant, possibly for a ring, uh, possibly cufflinks, I have no idea what you're going for, or possibly just bridal. You have got this brilliant cut, and I know that's the style of cut, but it also is just simply brilliant. It's not too light, it's not too dark, it's utterly perfect for the tone that we're looking for in sky blue. Um, and it really is incredible. We have, ma we have just made here on Jewelry Maker a wonderful, should be expensive gemstone, totally and utterly affordable. Now, if you wanted to add it to the, to the Prince of Wales chain that we've got coming up, then you could do, of course. You could prong set this as, as, as our lovely gems just taught us. We've also got sterling silver wire coming up in a moment for you as well. So we're giving you all the capability to turn this into a beautiful prong set solitaire ring. Um, if I show you that as a ring, just to give you an idea, that's what we're talking about. 
There you go, look. I mean, that is an absolute belter. Bobby Dazzler, whatever phrase you want to talk about. Oh, my word. 12.95 in the display box. It's very famous. People wear topaz like this. Very famous. I'm talking people like... Um, have you seen... De uh, what's her name? Vanessa Williams in Desperate Housewives. Yeah, she's got, she's got a uh, beautiful topaz ring. Katy Perry. We know Katy Perry, don't we? Yes. Yeah, she's got a topaz ring. Duchess of Cambridge. She's got a topaz uh, set of jewellery. pair of earrings. Set with peridot. Is it third year for your anniversary? My best friend has just bought his wife um, a topaz ring. Four years. Four years? Yeah. Is what? Four year anniversary. Four year anniversary, wedding anniversary. Yeah. What is? Topaz. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's what I've only just found. Oh, apparently. If you've been married four years, Topaz is your, is your, is your gemstone. Yeah. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you what then, Peter. Two years' time, you need to be buying your lovely wife the Topaz, don't you? In fact, get it now. Because hopefully by then she'll have forgot you've only spent twelve ninety five on it. <laughs> it's, it's worth way more, obviously, but I'm just saying... Whop it in, get it ready, get yourself ahead of time there, Peter, for your fourth anniversary. That's what I would do. Um, so, yeah, we've, uh, we've got this lovely little display box as well, which I've lost the bottom to. Oh, no, there you go. Which has got a lovely little cushion, so you can you pop it in there, look, and it's all, it keeps it all nice and dust-free while you're waiting to decide what to do with it. They deserve to be cherished, don't they? Done a half. As does Peter's lovely wife there. Oh, definitely. Remind me to send the email to Peter for the boss, for the pay rise. <laughs> oh, so it wasn't my idea. Are you asking for a pay rise in? No, but the customers are. For me. <laughs> Can you imagine what he'd say? You, out. <laughs> oh, dear, bless him. Uh, anyway, <laughs> joking. You put an idea in my head now, haven't you? Fatal, fatal. <laughs> anyway, beautifully cut. Sky blue topaz. Now, do you, the thing is, do you like your gemstones to dazzle and sparkle? Gem? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Do you know what this piece in particular makes me think of? Royalty. Daniel Craig's eyes. All right, you dirty Gertie. No, not in anything <whistles> salacious. No negativity, it's just he has very sparkly eyes. And uh, that's he does. what this makes me think of. He greets me every time I open my fridge. Yeah. <laughs> in his blue doing shorts. He's on a magnet. He's on a magnet on my fridge in his blue shorts coming out the sea. I like morning, Craig. <laughs> just saying. Come round my house and you'll see Daniel Craig on my fridge door. In his shorts. Now, hang on. Is there. A, now, just quickly. Just quickly, Karen Ann, Violet, Collector, Lynn, Marie, Collectors. I mean, I've got a lot of collectors. I have got people like Nicola having three, Stella having two, Margaret having two, Collection Surrey having three, Collection Somerset having three, and Marie and Devon having three. Every single other person is going for one of them. I think you can all agree, even... I mean, you may want to go and have that professionally set. You might want a prong set yourself. You may want to... I mean, don't forget as well, in that choker DVD of Mark Smith, he teaches you how to bezel set with seed beads which is a Rivoli. It's only going to be the same as setting a sky blue topaz as opposed to a Swarovski Rivoli. It is. It's very, same very technique. similar in its dimension as well. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because I saw some Rivoli's Rivoli on the shore. They say, wait, can end? Oh. Have I finished? Probably not. <laughs> can I shake you on the necklace? Can I shake, can I shake? Can I just say, Lucy, to everybody, you've been so lovely to me tonight. I've asked her to make me drink every hour because my throat's sore. Thank you. Sorry. Now, how about that? Oh, I've fallen in love. She said, look, a panic on my face. <laughs> Please don't do it again. 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 Quick, quick, get the shot. Quick, quick. Oh, yeah. Where oh, does, yeah. Where does Topaz sit on the Mohs scale? Oh, 
Oh, I've been really awkward and horrible to you now. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking that seven it was... Seven or eight? It's, it's nice and sturdy, I feel. Can we check? I think it's seven or eight. I think... No, 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 no. Do you know what? I'm quite glad. I can't remember them all. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be really sad. I think it's seven or eight. Seven, seven point five. Topaz. It's certainly a stone that I would wear on the hand. I'd wear it in oh, a yeah. ring because I think it's really nice and firm. There you go. Eight. There yeah, you go. Absolutely. Absolutely. I thought it was between seven and eight, so it's, it's hard. Can only be bought by um, bought. It can only be beaten by sapphire, ruby, and diamonds. So it's hard. So eight. There you go. So eight even better. Is it well hard? It's well hard. <laughs> it's well hard. So we have the Prince of Wales chain. This is a brand new chain. We've not had this one on the show before. It's over half a meter, and it's going under ten pounds. I know it's a shock. It is the Prince of Wales chain. Now, can you see, if I just take this off, do you mind? Because I just want to show you a couple of things. Firstly, it's so strong. So if you want a strong chain, if you've got something you've been making and you want strength of chain and you want to be absolutely safe in the knowledge that your chain is not going to break and you know that it's really going to be able to take some weight, you go for his Prince of Wales. Can you see, now if I put a board underneath so you can see the links, here we go. Can you, if you just zoom in on those... Because what they are, look, just do it really slowly for you, you can see. Little, small, circular links that are tightly woven together. And if you look there, look, each one of those links has no less than four other links connected to it. And can you see it kind of gives you like a, if you look at the one in the background out of focus, it gives you a twist. Yeah? So it gives you a, a twist. And that's the design. It's very, very clever. Now, have you put this on pre-order, did you say? OK, so I'll give you the code. The code is, because it's live in half, in 20 minutes, Z-I, sorry, no it isn't. It's Z-L-I-L-91. -L OK, so we'll do that with those links and that twist and that strength and that beautiful... And, do you want, do you want tell you one other thing it does? Sorry. Because of the weight, because of the fluidity of the chain and the twist, it drapes. So no matter how much, when you throw it on, chuck it on, and it'll just drape perfectly in that shape. Oh, man, so lovely. Oh. So look, I've just, did you see me just literally throw it on the bust? I didn't titivate it, did I? Watch. Perfect drape. Every time. Every time. Every time. There you go, look. See, I mean, it's literally like I window dressed it. I didn't. I threw it on. That's the joy of a Prince of Wales. Oh, I love storage. Do you love storage? Now, who was it messaged in earlier and said she put it... Was it... Who was it? Suzette, was it Suzette? Said she chucks it on a paper towel ring holder. Stacks them up. I think it was a Suzette. Such a good idea. It's a great idea if you've got a paper roll holder. I haven't. My paper roll sits on my window ledge in my kitchen. My purple window ledge in my kitchen. Ooh. It's purple. Good taste. Thanks. Wasn't me. The Hobbits did it before I moved in. Liz said, I thought there was something special about this weekend in Kent, Tom. Should have known it was you. <laughs> Ooh! Tom and Liz sitting in a tree. K-R-S-S-I-N-G. Liz. Liz has just had a little moment with you there. Now then, we have got eight compartment storage ring. So it's a ring, like a donut, with eight compartment storages, bits in it, like a wedge, isn't it? Like, like Trivial Pursuit. Have you really played Trivial Pursuit lately? Now, did you play at Christmas? Do you play every Christmas, do you? Do you? What game do you like? What's your favourite board game? Monopoly. What's yours? What I think Game of Life we like at Christmas. Game of Life, mm. OK. You, Michael? I like Frustration. Frustration? That's not really a board game, though, is it? You just press the... I've got it in my garage. I've got Frustration in my garage. Um, who? Oh, OK. I like Rapido. That's my favourite. 
Now, you know when you do, um, you can message in and tell us because it's interesting. I like a good board game, it's good, isn't it? This has got, can I show you on the back, it's got five in the triangle. And you might think, why is that important? Well, if you've got five in the triangle, it means you can keep your Sarah Lynn in there, Missy. And you follow the clay. Can't you, Jim? You absolutely can. You absolutely yeah. can. Now you might think it, it's really easy as well. You see, there's like a little, like, like, like a little, like a little edge there. Yeah, you just put your thumb or finger under there, and that's how easy they are. Isn't it great? So I'm thinking definitely for your seed bees, for your findings, that'd be ace, wouldn't it? Is it me, or does that suddenly make you think of like a spaceship? Oh yeah. The, yeah. The doors have opened. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon? Oh yeah. <laughs> so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then listen, listen, on this is what I love about Beadlon. It's such good quality. Ready, ready for ready for the definite. Ready? Ready? Oh. Listen. Oh, it's a definite. Oh. oh I have, have to... these at home and I use them for my sterling silver, my rose gold coloured sterling silver, and my yellow gold sterling silver. And then you can have them all stacked up, yeah. can't you? So yeah. you literally go, do you want sterling silver? There you go. Do you want gold? Well, there you go. So crimps, crimp, uh, and seed beads, Delica's 15 O's. Ooh. Eight different flavours in one. I think they're ice. And you can just stack them. <laughs> stack them. You could have them on like a, a bar, and you could have them that way around as well, couldn't you? So they were all slid on instead of going like that. You could have them like that. When you have the quality of closure that these lids bring you, you know that you can store them sideways, exactly. which is, is something comfort. you can't really do with kind of lesser storage. Oh, it's like getting that. It's like it's like getting that bubble wrap in it. Oh, it's the, the new pot of coffee when you have to burst through the foil. I like that. How much is that? Sorry, how much? Two ninety-five. Like sequins and buttons in your in your sewing box as well. Because I need something for my buttons. That's a good idea. I need something for my buttons. Pardon, I'm so sorry. What do you say? Um, I'm not. Ooh. Oh, Zane, stop chatting your voice. Oh. There's, a, there's a trillion, there's a trillion, there's a trillion. Oh, Um, oh, I've, got, I've got to stop salivating when I see things I really like. I dribble, it's so embarrassing. I've reached that age where I'm actually dribbling over gemstones. <sighs> oh my word. Oh my word. Abalone. Gorgeous doublets, or oh, double, double, multi shape, and we're not kidding. So, I mean, I've got an oval, I've got a trillion, I've got a pear drop, I've got an oval, which is just gorgeous, and then I've got this lovely elongated rectangle. Oh my word, they are sensational. Oh, I've just, uh, and I'll tell you what, if you've got the abalone squares that we had earlier on the strand, full length strand, and you managed to get those, as, as, and you could have those as your, as your sort of necklace base. You could. Yeah, and then you had any of these beautiful, double, you know, these gorgeous abalones here. They look fab on the back of the wrist as well as the centrepiece. Yeah. Utilising the, the sort of the curvy squares. Exactly. As, as the bit that goes they all really the way would, around. They really would, wouldn't they? Mm. I mean, they're a lovely size. I mean, goodness gracious me, is that as a, as a sort of double, as a cuff bracelet? A big long pendant? Oh my word, they are. Do you know what? Tom, can you give me an idea of price? Just I've got this in my head. For all of those? Okay. I wonder if, I wonder if, you, get, I wonder if you get in every one all the different. Because I've got every kind of shape there, haven't I? I've got rectangle, I've got oval, I've got pear drop, I've got trillion. Has anybody ever seen, other than today, abalone in a sharp trillion like that? No. No, nope, not me. I would have that as a ring, most definitely. Would you? It's very striking.
Now, I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I've got five in the studio. I had four in the photograph. You might get four, you might get five, you might get six, who knows? But you do get 104 carats of incredible. Uh, oops, a daisy. Well, all, right, then. all right. I'll drop my pear drop. 104 carats of incredible abalone there at £30.95. That's a great price for that variation of. It's, it, do you know what, though? I'm not being rude. It's not the money for me there. It's the opportunity to get abalone. You're such incredible shapes. It says that's amazing. Love seeing them in, in such a different way. Yeah. What are you doing, darling? <gasps> so you're just taking each one of those of my examples in the studio to four ninety nine each. Also, am I keeping you up, Lord? <laughs> <laughs> have I just made any of you yawn? <laughs> have I? Look, you're only young. You're only in your early 30s. Honestly, just because he's got... Oh, I'm 32 this year. Honestly, they're hopeless, these kids, aren't they? My little brother is 32 as well. And honestly, I promise you, every single phone call I have with him, I count the seconds until he goes... And I go, you right, bro? I'm tired. Every single phone call. Mm. I think you're 32, man. <laughs> Cluedo, Colonel Mustard. Oh, Buckaroo! Happy oh, childhood I love memories. Buckaroo! Pop up pirate. Pop up pirate. <laughs> Mousetrap. Kaplunk. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, Diane says, you know, I agree with Peter. You deserve a pay rise now. Keep him coming. I'll give you the email to send them to. Because <laughs> you cheer me up and make me smile on the darkest of days. Love you. Do you know what? Can I just say, Diane, if, you, if I do that for you, that is the best thing I do in a day. Because we all have dark days. You know, I have them. I have them as well. And if you have that one person that brightens your day... You brightened my day yesterday, Tom, with that phone call. Well, of course I brightened yours. <laughs> I'm joking. No, but joking aside there, Diane, thank you so much, because honestly, we all have those days, don't we? We have them, don't we, Gem? Every oh, one of yeah. us. yeah. I know, I was on a little bit of a her, and yeah. then I spoke to Arzina, and I felt but, so much but better. As long as we've all got that p mm. one person that does that for us, whoever that might be, and if I've done that for you in once, I'm a, I, you've, made my, you've made my day, because we all need that person that just lifts us a bit. We do. So that, you have no idea what that message means. Pay rise is even, you know, lovely, but no. I, do you know what I mean? I mean you're going to go, don't believe you. But I could have that message that Diane's just sent, as opposed to... Somebody said to me, you can, you could take somebody out of their darkest hour and cheer them up and make them smile or have a pay rise. I promise you, I'd cheer somebody up, because I think that's what we all need to do. We all think we need to look Aww. after each other. That's lovely. If I get paid extra while I'm doing it, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please don't. I've no idea, mate. Who do you want to do in the house? In the house, who? What? Six minutes. Six minutes, but it's on pre-order. Pre-order. Under ten. Have we got it? No, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. I don't. Uh, Luce is going to go and find it for me because she's a little treasure. Our lovely Luce. Whoa. Whoa. Way. Oh my goodness. Isn't it? Oh, I'm gone. Oh, I'm having that. I'm having that. I'm having that. Oh, m I don't care how much that is. I'm having it. Oh, Jim. Oh, Jim. An Albert. Red 
incredible. Abalone, doublet, fake, double. D well, hang on, is it that gone? Ah! Oh. It's absolutely stunning. Really beautiful. No, I, I actually, I am actually speechless. I, I am actually, I was literally, they were all laughing at me. They were laughing at me then, because I was like this going. <laughs> I was just like, well, I, I, I just, I just need to go past it. I was lucky enough to work with this and two other doublets a couple of weeks ago. And this was my favourite. It's absolutely stunning because you simply would not facet in this fashion a piece of abalone. So to have that amazing piece of mystical quartz over the top that has been faceted to give you the effect yeah, and it just glows through. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, no, a, I'm sorry. Wow, break out the unicorns. Oh, oh yeah. Do you know what, though? <laughs> I can't decide... <clears throat> Which side, how I'd set it, because I like both. It is beautiful. I don't, I don't know whether I'd go there. I, or there, I, I, it's just, oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Disney, trivial, like trivial pursuit, but it's all Disney film questions, love it. Is the chain? You would love that. Oh. Oh, I need to go and get me one of them. Oh, I did not know they did that. I'm going to go home and have a look. I'm going to go home and have a look. I'm going to go home and have a look. Can we have a look at the break? Oh, I want to buy that. I want to buy that. I want to buy that. Do you know what you could do for Christmas? Like, treat, get yourself a locker. I'm going to do that on that website. Where you can build yourself a wish list. So when your dad or your brother go, what do you want? I'm just go, look at my wish list. I'm going to start building one. I'm going to put that on it. Do you know, I don't know how you could price this because it's totally unique. she was when you had it no it was in a kit and there were three of them and i think they priced out at 9.95 each they were three different ones but hon, what, uh, are, are that's you gonna a bit to, special you're gonna have to tell me hon how did you set this to show both sides how did you do it i didn't i set it as a ring because i loved the faceted effect because I, abalone is beautiful but like i say you wouldn't so you did go it. like that so yeah it was facet side up as i think i did this one as the ring and it was, it was certainly that way up anyway. <gasps> and it, it is absolutely glorious. Oh, do you know, I'd have to, I would, I'd, 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 I'd have to, oh God, I've never seen anything like it. So it's like, with it, so I'll take it with effectively, put an abalone onto a quartz and that's the effect. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? It's because your quartz is magnifying. That's what I mean. The beauty of the abalone. It's just Get a magical combination. Oh, how many have we got left? I've got to have this. I don't... But we had eight. Oh, no. Please get me one. If I've still got the ring at home, I'll bring it for you next time, OK? Really, honestly, Jim, I've never... I've, I, I am... Bes I am... Are you feeling totes emotion? I need that. I don't even... <laughs> Do you, it's one of them that you, like... It's amazing, you know, isn't it? I think as well, because when you, when you love gemstones as much as we do, mm. and then you combine two, like an abalone and a quartz like that, and it gives you that effect, it's just something I wouldn't think of marrying together. No, it's completely mind-blowing, really. It, it, do you know that's exactly... Because they were laughing because I was literally, like, I, I, just drinking it in, and he's like, in me again, you're supposed to be talking about... I said, I, I, <laughs> what is there to say... <laughs> It's absolutely stunning. The light, the way that it plays through, it's like uh, there's a place in Cornwall where they have domes with the different oh, environments. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it, it's kind of like that, but with the northern lights trapped inside. Because what you have to imagine is that you've got quite a deep dome of the, of the quartz, really which deep? is beautifully faceted, and then this sliver of abalone underneath, oh. abalone rather. And it, the, the effect that you're getting, you just it's wouldn't expect... Magic. It is it's, magical. It is utterly, 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 utterly magical. 
I want to go to Finland and stay in one of those oh, glass amazing, pods amazing. and look at the northern lights through my personal yeah. little see-through igloo. Yeah, get chucked there by your little huskies on your sledge. Oh, yes, please. Um, I've just got to have that. That is just one of those. Things. You know, you're just like, if I, if I own that, it's going to sound ridiculous, but you know, sometimes when you see something, that you look, it's like when I, I've got the insect in the, in the amber. Oh, yes. I can't tell you the amount of times that comes out of my display cabinet in my study and I just have a look, it just, I just have a little moment with it. I'm a bit like that with bismuth. With what? I can't not look at bismuth. It's amazing. Where's bismuth, bismuth? Is an element, but when you oh, melt it's not a country, it, then, or a it place. reforms itself in uh, like a, a cube on a cube on a cube on a cube. Have a look with your internet search engine for bismuth in, in its natural formation. It's and not a place like, like Bedworth. <laughs> Bismuth Castle? No, it it's isn't. Like, have you been like to Bismuth? Bedworth? No. <laughs> no, don't, no, don't you tell me it's sold out. No. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> oh, sorry, star by. Star by. Sorry, star by. Sergeant. <laughs> If you've got a tenner, if you've got a tenner, I'll do you an exchange for this. Twenty inch, if I'm not mistaken, there. I am mistaken. Twenty two inch. That is what is known as a Prince of Wales chain. There are certain chains that are instantly recognisable. Your Figaro, your Curb chain, your Rolo chain, your Ball chain. They are instantly recognisable. This is the royal chain of our chains. The only one that is allowed to be called the Prince of Wales. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you'll feel how lovely, you, there's just a lovely fluid feel to this chain. You've got a lot of silver. And what I want to show you is the reason it's called a Prince of Wales chain, not any chain can be called, called Prince of Wales. It's a certain type of link. Z. Links. Because in every one of these circular links, there is a minimum of four connecting links. Minimum. So small circular links look, just to hold it right, let's just turn it really slowly so you can actually see those interconnecting links. And into every one of those small circular links, each link, as you can hopefully quite clearly see there, look, there is at least four other links connected to it. So it's almost like a, well, you'd almost, I suppose it could be called almost a very, a, a, a chainmail link. Yeah. Because chain mail is one link in interlinking, and mm. I guess that's effectively what we've got here. But what that does is, if you just pop that there in the background so you can actually see, you've got it in clarity there. Oh, sorry, we've just reversed it around. Doesn't matter which way you do it. Oh, I love it when we do that. So either if you look at it in um, out of focus here and then in focus here, you can actually see what that, what all of those links do is they actually create a twisted effect. Now also, what happens when you link lots of little links in together like that? What do you get? Real strength. Now, if there's one thing I love about jewelry maker chains and the variety of jewelry maker chains that we have here is the quality and the strength of all of our chains, to be fair. However, when I see, and Gem's great because she's great on, on social media and, and, and Facebook because she always, um, uh, 
promotes all of her lovely joy photographs and then she'll do memories from a couple of years ago and all these wonderful makes that she's done before come back up and we see them again and it's lovely it's like seeing an old friend but a lot of Gem's work and Alison Tarry's work and, and Laura Binding and Deborah and all the people that do our wonderful wire work and Claire and everybody it can be very or even a chainmail design with Fleur you know they, there can be some very quite weighty designs that our guest designers create and if you want to then wear those really elaborate wire work designs you've got to have a chain that you know is going to be able to withstand that constant draw that weight that's been added to that chain and the lovely thing about that is if you opt for a prince of wales chain you have that absolute safety blanket in a prince of wales design you do I, you would never put a rather large wire work pendant onto a trace chain no even if you were gifting it to your no. client you wouldn't say oh take away this free chain with this big old pendant because it will snap the first time they wear it and then that reflects on you yeah so to have something like this yep. absolutely ideal do you know the great thing as well you don't need to add anything if you're thinking well i'm not a wire worker and i don't i don't i don't want to hang anything off it whatsoever i just want because that's the lovely thing about these prince of wales chains they are absolutely wearable on their own a chain was designed to either wear on its own or to attach to so you got the best of both worlds. Now, do you see what I mean as well? I just literally, while Jen was talking, put my hands behind my, ne my neck, open the bolt ring clasp, clasp, sorry, it's sterling silver, sorry, dear. And then I just literally let it go. I didn't, and what it, that's, can you, that is the perfect, when we see in a textbook or in, and they're being dressed in a jeweler's window, you will see that drape. People dream of having a chain drape like that. And that's because of the way it's made and the amount of silver in it. Certainly. Simple as. Yep. And it's, doesn't it, and I'll tell you what, if you, um, if you like the popcorn chain, that's not the same design, but it's that similar size sort of extra gauge. You've got a bigger, deeper gauge of chain, haven't you? So it's a real standalone design. 22 inch, which as you can see, my open V neck line that I've got on tonight, fills the space beautifully, doesn't it? And you've still got room for a for a um for a, a a charm pendant on there if you wanted to. Don't have to though. Lovely length. 2022 20, inch, my favourite length of necklace. Oh yeah. That, that, that. Because I tend to wear an open, I don't like things on my neckline. So to have that drape and to wear, you know, like a V-neck round it, those are my kind of tops. Definitely. Yeah, so you know what we're talking about. And then that just you've got it it, it fills the space as opposed to being, you know, if that was a 16 inch, we'd be up here, wouldn't we? Or an 18 inch, it looked like there's something missing. But actually, because on a top like that, it, it sort of fills the space, it looks like I've chosen it specifically for that top, doesn't it? Isn't it lovely? Can you believe? Can you believe that beautiful necklace is, is buyable from us today at £10? I well, can't. actually, less than. No, 95. No, look at that. Honestly, I know oh, it's difficult for us because we're so used to jewelry maker being so naughty on prices of chains. But if you if you saw me, you didn't know me, and I was sat in a like sat chatting in a pub in a bar, and I was sat there, and you saw that necklace on me. Unless you were a jewelry maker, but you know we you, you know you bought from jewelry. I don't think anybody would ever in their right mind think, look at me and think she paid the teller for that. You wouldn't, you just don't make that assumption because it you has such dare, would you? substance to it and style. But it looks so expensive, it doesn't does. it? I mean, it does. It looks so expensive. Oh, I do apologise. Let me just check the class. Oh, it is bolt ring. I was just thinking, have I said the wrong thing? No, it is bolt ring. You're all right. Let me just show you the actual class. Come on. Oh, it would just get stuck, wouldn't it? No, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Don't panic, everybody. Don't be jumping up to help me, Michael. I'm all right. Oh, you didn't. You need me. I always need you, Michael. Now then, this has been on pre-order, hasn't it, um, Tom? And how many have gone on pre-order? Nearly a hundred have been taken by you. So, 925 stamps, of course, because you want to be able to prove. Because that's the thing, when people go, and you say to people, people say, oh, is, there, is it standing silver? And you go, yes. And they go prove it. We'll just show them the section by the class there, and it'll say 925 stamped. That's what you want. Do you find that helpful when you're selling jewellery, Jim? I do. It do is you? nice, just a little bit of extra reassurance, yeah. just yeah. to sort of say, well, yes, actually, it is. 
That's great. And it's so clearly stamped as well because yeah. if you actually, purchase it? inferior, it can be a bit wishy-washy, but no, it's yeah. lovely and crisp. They're, they are crisp and sharp, mm. aren't they, that 925? Again, I do not need to ask anybody to... Nobody's hanging about with this in their baskets and hovering. It's an instant checkout, instant checkout. Yeah? 995 for that beautiful 22-inch Prince of Wales chain. Wow. Sorry, but... Um, I'm just going to, um, just going to, if you don't mind, I'm just going to keep wearing it for a bit. Because I can. <laughs> Would you like my Buster armor, please? Yes, Thank, please. You. Thank you. <laughs> I just have no words. I love this so much. got you written all over it, isn't it? Sure has. You can't not love that. It's outstanding. I think it's actually impossible mm -hmm. to not fall instantly in love with that. I could be wrong, but I think I launched it. Oh, no. my word. A scrofolite even sounds cool, doesn't it? It does. Very spacey. <gasps> it's like gilt. It's like it's been gilded in gold, isn't it? But you do get that perfect silver as well. Well, it's proper two-tone, isn't it? It's absolutely glorious. Oh, wow. Look at that. What a... What a oh, I know. That's the reverse. And the back, where it's kind of polished smooth, is absolutely stunning. <gasps> Oh, I don't know which one I prefer. Oh, how did you decide which, which way to set it? I think I had uh, one which I could see from both <gasps> ways and the other was set with the rough forwards. Oh. I, I honestly can't decide. Jem? I, I like that face. Yeah. I like both. I absolutely... It's like, you know, when we had those, what were they called? Oh, it's a day. Oh, I'm so excited, <laughs> sorry. You know, the pots of the Mega Flakes? Oh, yes, I it's love like, those. It's like they've been stuck in or on the surface. Yeah. Isn't it, you know, and those lovely... Oh, I miss those mega flakes. They're absolutely fab. Yeah. Wow, what a brilliant... Amazing. Oh. Can you add that code and the code of the abalone <laughs> doublet as well, please? With the quartz. <laughs> They're going in my gemstone glass cabinet collector's shelf. Yeah. Along with my amylite. Oh, Oh, yeah. Because there's some gemstones that actually just look impressive in a display cabinet, don't they? Most definitely. They think? Oh, yes. And that is one of them. I had an awkward moment last night. Yeah, well, I went out into my garden to water my plants about 11 o'clock at night because I hadn't got home till 11 o'clock. And I got, put my phone on to put the torch on and I was watering. And I accidentally rang Alex McKay, who's the presenter on Gem Collector. <laughs> it was about 10 past 11 on a Sunday night. I thought he's going to think I'm drunk. <laughs> and I quickly switched it off, because of course it rings the first. When you did the torch, and I slid it down, <laughs> it rang him. And I thought he's going to think I was drunk. <laughs> no, he didn't answer did me. He hasn't rang you me back. back. No. Oh. But I'm thinking he's going to think I'm rang him drunk. <laughs> I know where he was. He was down at Danny Brighton, but I thought he's going to think I was drunk. I thought, oh no, what do I do? And I thought, I'll oh, just pretend I didn't. <laughs> I must have butted dialed you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, I bet he'll ring me tomorrow going, were you drunk? Poor <laughs> Ben's <laughs> like, oh no, I wasn't. I was watching my plants, how oh, are, were you? <laughs> I was actually, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so if you are, wa if you are watching, um, if you are watching, Alex, I'm sorry for the late call. <laughs> so, what did you say, Zoe? Ah. <laughs> okay, B Smith. Now, most of the time, we don't think sticky is a good thing, do we? 
If I've got sticky hands or a sticky fridge door or handles in your kitchen and stuff, I have to do my antibacterial wipe. I don't or, like or it. I don't line, like no. sticky stuff, do you? Not nice. No, no. You know, no, if you've no. had like a cream tea on your sofa leather and there's a bit of jam on the arm, <laughs> oh, no, it's no, a bit. What about bleh. sticky barbecue wings? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But these, we want them to be sticky. You absolutely do. We want the stickiness. We embrace the stickiness. Well, don't Give us embrace more sticky. it. Because this is a big. Well, actually, you are looking at that thinking, oh, it looks like your bracelet. It looks like the bracelet. Be mm -hmm. mat right. thing. What do we call it? Tray. Board. Tray. Board. Tray. Tray board. Tray, tray board. board. Making jobby thing. thing. Yeah. You know, the, like the suede effect one that we've got with all the yeah. deep set pockets. You know, the, oh, trust us not to have one in the studio. The bead tray. Necklace bead tray. Got one, thank you. For goodness sake, somebody give her a bead tray so she can stop waffling. There you go. <laughs> it's like that, but without the depth. And instead of it being suede, it's sticky. So just to prove the point, look, very similar, isn't it? It's in the same colour, pretty much. <laughs> but this isn't jewellery maker, this is actually beadsmith. And it's got inches, it's got um, centimetres, it's got straight at the top as if you want to do bracelets, but it's tacky. So if you want to put your findings onto there, or your, you know, your crimps, your crimp beads, your seed beads, all that kind of thing. And I did exactly, I did have this the other day with some pearls on and I proved the point. There's some, there's, it's, it's uh, got a protective, plastic on the back and it comes on the front as well and if it starts to stop being tacky because you've got a bit of fluff on there a bit of surface dust no matter how you clean your own you can't help it um just run it under some cold water and it'll go sticky again yep just don't dry it allow it to dry naturally oh yeah free dry that'd be great if you could just get out of the show and go yeah Twelve <laughs> 12.95 12.95 but the beads missed it. Oh, do you know what my shower did to me? And it keeps doing to me. It's doing my fruiting. <laughs> do you know what it's doing to me? What's it doing, hun? I wash my hair. It's got one of the massive shower heads. Oh. Yeah, and I wash my hair. Do everything. Do finish, and then I get me squidgy like a, like I think like I'm a yeah. yeah like I'm a window cleaner. And I squidgy all the shower, and then I did the whole shower. Mm -hmm. I guarantee it. While I'm in the shower, before I dry myself, yeah, I do yeah. all that. And then do you know what it keeps doing to me? And it won't do it in a set time. It waits, like today, when I'm doing it, and it goes, Tush, and it dumps another load. When I'm, <laughs> I swear, oh, no. I'm going to rip that shower head off. It, it does, it just goes, it dumps another load of water, and I've just, I've just squidged it, I'm dry, and I'm like, you honestly, today I called it an expletive. No, it's turned off. It just suddenly then decides, I'll get her, and it, it, I'm telling you, never does it. It never does it when I'm over the other side of the shower cubicle. Maybe you need your hot water system bleeding. Maybe there's a little bit of an airlock in there somewhere. Shh. Coming out, coming out me, will you? Because I'm going to kill it. The sticky bead mat or the shower? No, the shower head. Okay. No, I love my sticky bead mat. <laughs> well, you know, the lovely thing is as well, if you've got like, I'm not being rude, but if like the kids are around your feet or the grandkids or whatever, and you've got them visiting or pets and things and whatever, I do find that this is much more help, and also, you know, because you've got like, especially like Mark Smith with his little kitten Ripley, you can put the, you can put, it, you've got less likely of it rolling and going everywhere. Absolutely. It's got a bit of sticky tacky, haven't you? Or if you're like me, there's somebody at the door every five minutes, you need to just pop, pop it down safely, you don't yep. want the dog knocking it over, it's exactly. likely to survive. They're yeah. very handy. They're brilliant. But yes. Ooh. Where did, where did all those pearls come from? Oh, Zane, stop shouting. Thank you, sweet pea. Um, say again. Oh, hang on, I've got a load of pearls. So, give me the description again. No, it's not fun for me. Thank you for lending me your bead board. Necklace board tray. So I drilled. Baroque. I don't like Baroque. Don't fix it. Don't fix it. <laughs> Every time I watch Beauty and the Beast and the clock says that, it makes me laugh. If it's not a Baroque, I don't fix it. <laughs> he doesn't speak Italian, but he speaks French, actually. With a, well, he speaks with a French accent. <laughs> I can't do that. Anyway, 
I'm going to try them on if you don't mind, Leah. I know you're going to just show them on the hand, but I thought, nah, let's mix it up, let's get them on. Let's get them on. As Marvin Gaye said. Zena, I found if you spray the shower head with excess water, comes straight out. What? I found if you spray the shower head with what, Tracy? <laughs> spray it with what, Trace? Maybe the cleanery thing. What? You know, if you're, if you're spraying around the shower to clean it afterwards. No, I'm not spraying, I'm just squeegeeing. You're just squeegeeing. Squeegee. Okay. Z, people pay money for a water dump in a splash zone. What? What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I've no idea what you're on about, you lot. I'm still not happy with my shower head. I don't care if somebody pays for it. It's not mine. <laughs> no. So, white side drilled fresh water, cultured pearls, baroque. Twelve ninety-five. Can you all do me a favour, or can one of you remind me tonight to go to my dad's house on the way home? Because I've got to drop him off his toothpaste and his bird seed. Oh. All right, it's in my boot. Just can somebody remind me? Because otherwise, otherwise I'll turn right out of the building and I'll go home. Tom's laughing because it, because I've bought bulk toothpaste for my dad from a special shop I go to. So there's, I think there's nine tubes of toothpaste. There's nine tubes of toothpaste in my bag for my dad. Twelve ninety. You want to see the bag of the twelve kilogram bag of bird feed for the birdies in the garden? Does he have false teeth? No, he bloody well doesn't. She's me dad. Got, has he got false teeth? You cheeky madam. Why did I tell him that? I'd be happy. You got veneers or big ears? Which one did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, isn't it, Naughty? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I just I couldn't resist that. Sorry, that's so naughty. Anyway, anyway, we will get Michael to read out your names uh, in the X Factor names in a moment as well, because we did promise. Oh, sorry, everybody. So it's all in good in in good um, good humour. He's gone very quiet since, though. He's going to HR on me. Thirty-five carats. He won't. Of amethyst. Two, I'm only saying the obvious, anyway. Two to four mil. I'm only being honest. Two to four mil amethyst. Uh, uh, that is Zambian, by the way. It must be that colour. Oh, it is. Oh my God. Who fancies guessing the price? I'm going to guess Zambian. Two to four mil, knowing the mood you're in, nine ninety-five. I was going twelve ninety-five. Well, I was going to go fourteen ninety-five, but I know he's in a silly mood, uh, so I enough. thought I'll go for. And as I've just <laughs> inadvertently slightly offended him, <laughs> I haven't. He thinks it's funny. I'm guessing nine ninety-five. Gem is thinking twelve ninety-five. Oh, you're going eleven ninety-five, are you, Leah? Michael. £100. Oh, don't be silly. No, uh, I reckon um, £10.95. £10.95? Yeah. All right, then. We've got to do the names yet in the X Factor voice, we promised. Oh. What? Now, Mr Veneers. With my Prince of Wales chain. Oh, they're lovely on the neckline. That aren't gentle graduation are, is they? really beautiful. It's very, it is very subtle, isn't it? Mm. And they look lovely with pearls. Any pearls, I think. 
you know, so I think a lot of people automatically go for rose gold with amethyst, but I love it with silver. It's always beautiful with silver. I think so. I like the contrast. It's very, it's very opposite, isn't it, if you know it what is. I mean? But, th but it still works. Oh, it does, absolutely. It really it does. does. Enhancing to one another. It does indeed. Now, um, we did say we do it this hour, but we're running out of time and we want to make sure we get Michael to look after you with your name. So if you can bear with us into the next hour... So we were, everybody's been asking Michael to uh, say their name in the X Factor voice. So for a bit of a gift, just a bit of fun, if you don't mind, we're going to do it in the next hour for you. Is that right with you, Michael? You got any name requests? Email Now, do it properly. If you're going to come on set, you do it properly with the right attitude. Now, come Hello. On. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Thank you. Makers. Thank you. If you, you want uh, me to say your name out in the X Factor man's voice, then uh, email in or text uh, JM at, um, in. Not email, what's text. What's Messaging. Text? Messaging. What do you mean? What's the text? Six triple three. How long you worked here? Six triple three seven. <laughs> Six no. oh, triple seven. Okay. You know. Tally, you don't have like ho. you don't have like the news readers going. What channel am I, am, am I on? Do you? Sorry, everybody. Would you put your tag in on your hat as well? Because that didn't look good either, did it? <laughs> if you want your name read out in the X Factor boys, you're probably all going, well, no, we don't, actually. <laughs> actually, we have had about 20 people ask. It's a bit of fun. It's just a bit of fun, OK? Uh, yeah, six zero triple seven. Start your text with JM Studio, and he's going to try and do as many as he can. OK, so, uh, well done, yeah, a bit of fun, isn't it? A bit of fun. Yeah, so well done, well done. Now we've got some. St speaking of, st where did that come from? On the floor. Was it on the floor? Yeah. You I think know. it's from the top of the show, the baubles. It's the six o'clock, maybe. Yes. Ah, oh, no, I did show these really early on, didn't I? Where have they gone? Stardust. Oh, the connectors. No, I didn't. I showed the sauces earlier, didn't I? Those are delicious. Yeah. Well, they're not edible, but I know what you mean. I'm <laughs> down. I know what you mean. Now, you could rosary link with those, you could add those to... I think that... Do you know what I use these for? I'm still new to making jewellery. I use those as a little extra formula drop to um, earrings. Beautiful. So I attach that little loop onto my shepherd hooks there, and then I have an extra little loop at the bottom to put, let's say, a lovely pearl drop, for Beautiful. example. Yeah? That's what I do. What do you do with them, Gem? I think I would have a twin strand bracelet on the wrist. Oh, great idea. With those running from one strand to the other, so nestled between, one hole attached to one strand, one Got hole it. attached to the Good other idea. strand. I thought of that's great idea. And you'd have it like every third yep. gemstone or something. That would look lush. Cracking. Would look lush. Proper, proper sparkle, isn't it? And that's why we love, we love the sparkle, we love the texture, we love the, just the, the cleverness of these. And with that perfect loop either side, they're beautifully crafted, aren't they? Really lovely. And what I love about them is no matter which one I pick up, that loop is perfect on each side. So well made. What a song, Wolfie. Say my name. Oh, we want a song. Sorry, Lena. Go on then, sing it. Say what? Say my name, say my name. You're acting kind of shady, in calling my baby. Why the sudden change? Okay, why do you bounce like a yo-yo when you sing? <laughs> why do you do that? It's energy. Do you do that, that when you're in the band? You don't, do you? No, I think so. No. Okay. I'll do this. Michael Jackson. We've missed him, haven't we? We've missed him, haven't we? we haven't, he hasn't been here for two weeks. He's been decorating his house. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. I don't know why that's funny either. Uh, anyway, he, he will do the X Factor voice in the break. After the break, even. Uh, right then, we have one hour left with you. We've got an extra kit. We've got a demo. We've got goodies, haven't we, Tom? Mmm. Got some. Set. We've even got those Chrysocola cabochons coming your way as well. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. So. We will go to a break. We'll try and calm the wolf man down, ready for his big X Factor moment. Other shows are available. No, we don't have Robbie Williams coming in. Sorry. Although I do know his drummer. Yeah, I know his drummer, Carl. It's his drummer. And James Blunt and James Morrison. 
Mm. Anyway, uh, right then, so we're going to go for a little break. Please join us after the break. It's going to be a very fun filled last hour. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides, and jewelry maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that if you go to jewellerymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and jewellery maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello. Guten Abend. Guten Tag. Salut. Comment ça va? Hörer läget. <laughs> anyway, but we've gone into some weird zone on the late show this evening, but there you go. Now, we're going to give you a treat, because th this is something that is... Um, we need that illegal police siren thing again, because we're actually giving you two reels of... Yeah, thank you. Stunning silver wire. On their own. <gasps> so we've split the kit. Mm -hmm. we split the kit. There will be black spinel, but we're giving you the option to buy either or, or both. Your choice. We just thought... 
Sometimes when you're creating, we've, we've listened to your feedback and, and, and our guest designers and we've had some messages in saying we love the kits, they're great, they're wonderful, thank you very much, but sometimes you get through one component more than the other. Mm -hmm. Is that fair to say? It is, yeah. Absolutely. So sometimes you need more of the gemstones, sometimes you need more of the mm -hmm. wine, depends, and it depends what, at what point and what you've made and whether you've gone gem heavy mm -hmm. or whether you've gone wire heavy. And you never quite know what you're going to do, do you? So rather than restricting you, we thought, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll actually try and keep everybody happy. Because the thing is, you'll get a saving on each anyway. So rather than putting them both together, we'll keep the wire on its own. So anybody that wants sterling silver wire, thank you very much. Anybody who wants the black spinel that's coming up in a moment, thank you very much. Or you can buy both parts of the kit. Okay, so there you go. That's what we thought. So we've tried to listen. We've tried, because we do try and listen where we can. And we do try and give you what you want. Because obviously we've got to keep you happy. Otherwise, we're not going to keep you, are we? So simple as that. So we have actually, oh, we've actually got, I oh, can't believe it because it never happens. I'm just going to confirm. It is definitely one mil, isn't it? Thank you. Two metres. You've got a metre in sterling silver wire in one mil for structure and a metre of sterling silver wire in 0.4 mil. It says chic noir because we're going to give you the black spinel in a moment. Okay. How often do we ever see one mil wire in sterling silver? It's amazing. Absolutely fabulous. It's my desert island gauges you've got right there. What, the one and the point four? Yeah, together. Why? Because I can make everything I want structurally with a one mil. Yeah, it fails. It's fluid enough to be used for your more swirly, wonderful, whimsical designs, but it has that beautiful structural strength yeah. that you can use that to make a ring straight off. Have you used that to make like the torque in your design with the with the owl? No, I've borrowed the torque. You have borrowed from, the torque. Okay. I've got a bag, bag of tricks, which is just torques and necklaces, oh, okay. which I, I pop pendants oh. and things on. Okay. So we do have the black spinel coming up in a moment, but you've got the one mil and you've got the 0.4 mil on its own in this kit. And the code is PMXC53. We will bring you the black spinel in a moment. Okay, I know it says it at the bottom of the screen, but we split it apart for you so that you get the chance to own the black spinel separately. £19.90 for both reels. Do we get a gram weight? Because, I mean, that feels so solid, it is. so substantial, that wire. It's lovely and substantial. There's a real beautiful, smooth, but weighty feel to it. Yeah, I mean, that has got to have a big gram weight of silver in it, hasn't it? It just fit the feel of it. The silkiness of the, of, the, of the surface of that wire. It is really silky. The, do you know what, as well? I, I mean, I don't work with wire yet. Alison Tarrant determined, she says. <laughs> but I must say, when you feel a silver plated wire and you feel a sterling silver wire, even as a presenter that doesn't work with it, as it doesn't make with wire, the difference feels palpable. It is. You absolutely can tell. Yeah. You sort of run your finger and thumb over the surface. Yeah. And, there and visually is, as well. You absolutely can tell yeah. visually. There's a, a real difference to it. Now, we're not usually allowed to give you wire on its own. We did have to go and ask permission from the team, from our kit team. And we didn't think... We did, not... <laughs> <laughs> Is that across both? 9.2 grams. That's cracking. I did say it was a lot, didn't I? <laughs> I did say it was a lot. 9.2 grams of sterling silver in that wire. Fantastic. And what's the average gram weight with a necklace? What, one and a half, if you're lucky, two grams? Yeah, up to about two grams about is two a grams. very standard. So you've got it over four necklace worth there of mm. sterling silver in just that wire. Puts it into context, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah? 9.2 grams of solid sterling silver wire in 0.4 and 1 mil. And as you've just heard from our guest designer, she's just said if she were on a desert island, she had to get left with, and you think of all the wires we do here for you at Jewelry Maker. That's a big statement to say that she does at Island Wire Gauges. It is. And in this, this in quality silver. of sterling silver. Yeah, you are a bit. Well. Um, you do rather like it, don't you, darling? I do. So, in those designs there, mm -hmm. where have you incorporated the wire? So, the wire is used uh, along with the findings in. Uh, if you look at the 
bracelet, the bangle rather, that's got yeah. three charms on it. That's yeah. made with the one millimetre gauge to make the adjustable bangle. Right. And that's not really work hardened with a hammer. It's just twisted around a, a round frame and then opened out. And that gives you enough strength for it to become a viable piece of jewellery to wear on the wrist. That's lovely. That is lovely. Uh, so, now, um, do you want... We better give you the black spinel as well, haven't we? Because <laughs> I, I don't want you to confuse anybody. <laughs> so if I bring you the black spinel, which is... Oh, oh I, could just, I, don't, see, I don't even know if to just put it straight on or, or put it on. I just... Because oh, this graduation that we do, I've got to say, we do it so well. It's exceptional. Don't, we do. We do it so well. We've given you a very gentle... We start there, look, at 5 mil. So, I mean, firstly, how lovely to get five mil. I mean, we just don't get five mil gemstones. Very, very, very rarely. And it's a gentle, gentle, yet really quite striking. Mm. It, it is, is notable. Is it, yeah. In that lovely graduation on those jet black, wonderful, sparkling black spinel. And it is fantastic to have them in rounds. We do see them from time to time mm -hmm. in, in other shapes. Uh, primarily in the faceted oh, rondelles. Rondelles, yeah, I would have said more than anything. Love to see them in rounds. I think it works exceptionally. Really is beautiful. So those, that whole strand. And you can see its performance with the Prince of Wales yeah. chain that you're wearing exactly. as well. It just is a beautiful combination. Sorry, Leah. Sorry, Michael. Just couldn't help but put it on. <laughs> I felt compelled. See how sparkly they are, look. That is delicious. Yeah? Fourteen ninety-five on those black spinel. Full length 31 centimetre strand. I think the thing I love most about your black spinel is that it's a black gemstone, but it gives you the full paparazzi, paparazzi sparkle. It does. Absolutely. Which is amazing. Uh, no, we've got an extra kit. How many kids do you want? <laughs> All hey? of the kids. Blimey. <laughs> and I wouldn't mind. That's the big sterling silver kit right there. Yes. 45 piece <laughs> sterling silver kit. Oh, yeah. So, we have got a copious amount of head pins, ball head pins for you. Mm -hmm. So, we've actually got there for you 15 head pins. Well, it's not to be sniffed at, is it? It isn't. 15 head pins, two pairs of the lovely, beautifully, ergonomically designed shepherd hooks, a really fancy, just pick that up for you, really fancy textured toggle clasp, and we have got crimps for you as well. So you've got 10 crimps and the crimp covers to match, 10 of those as well. And you've got jump rings, and the jump rings are open, three of those in 5mm. Uh, and you've got a length of lovely, beautiful Rolo chain as well. They're two mil links. It's an eight inch length, 45 pieces of sterling silver. And there's also a beautiful trigger stroke lobster style clasp as well in a good size. In fact, that is actually an 11 by six mil, which is ideal because it's sort of uh, small enough to be not noticeable, yep. but big enough to be not fiddly. Exactly. And also, you might notice in Gem's beautiful jewellery that there's a little cheeky, uh... Ooh. Yeah. Lovely cheeky owl. It's one of my favourite owls that we do. I have got such love for Rainbow Moonstone, and this is such a beautiful piece. It is, isn't it? But with those black spinel eyes that bore into you, aren't they? Great, a, mass, looks like massive pupils that really surprised, doesn't it? He's an owl that looks like he knows things, very wise. Oh, yeah, definitely. And you've got that lovely heart effect of the moonstone in there as well. Gem set owl connector, because actually, if you notice, the reason that Gem's been able to do a, connect it to the torque and add the tassels at the bottom, because it is actually a connector. There's a, there's a loop at each end. And it's beautiful because it's kind of open work at the back as well, so you can get quite a, a large can. segment yep. through. I'll show you that there as well on the back. Lots of, lots of ways you can connect to that if you want mm -hmm. to. Go straight through the back if you want to, look. So it felt very naughty to cut that beautiful chain into pieces, but I wanted to show you how you can make uh, a like lovely an tassel. uneven tassel yeah, yeah, yeah. with the chain. That looks lovely. 
And so, uh, do you know what? I'd be happy twenty nine ninety five for the owl. Yeah, that's a fair point. Well, you are getting black spinel. You're getting lovely, lovely moonstone in that beautiful sort of heart design. And a four. That's the biggest sterling silver findings kit we do, to my knowledge. I think so. Forty five yeah. piece. Mm. Really, really, really wearable, beautiful jewellery there, Jim. Oh, thank you, Treasure. Thank you. Really lovely. <coughs> Excuse me. What I will do, if you don't mind, is just separate the charms on the bangle because they've all sort of jungled together. Go on, then. Grab it over. They've all sort of joined up. Do they forces. want to be together, do they? But they wanted to be slightly further apart. <laughs> We want to be together. Oh, that was a great advert, wasn't it? <laughs> taking Brilliant. you back. <laughs> yeah, taking me back to the adverts there. That is lovely. Now, out of all those lovely pieces, which one are you going to show us how to make? Well, it's utilising the heart locket, actually, so I don't know ah, if I do can... you mean this one here? I can. Yes, that's the kitty. Did you get that as well? I did. Blimey. I know. So, would you like to, to me to start the demo and then yeah, bring that part we'll slide that in, in a bit? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. So, we're going to be looking at this piece, which is adding a number of those beautiful graduated round black spinels to the locket in a way that makes it still possible to use it as a locket. And what I've done is when you receive your sterling silver from a such jewellery maker, you will quite often get one of these little anti tarnish tabs, which is a little black. Uh, but it's not paper, it's kind of a plasticky design and it's to help store tarnish free yep. your sterling silver. So what I've done is utilise that in the design to highlight the filigree work because I think that filigree work is absolutely magnificent. Mm. I've, it's not something that I would ever even attempt. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to sort of highlight that as well. So I utilised the, the little pad. You I can did see it there. you'd done that. I was thinking, how the heck you done that? <laughs> you could uh, glue it in, obviously, if you wanted to, or you could pop some cerulean in. It's entirely up to you. You've got lots of choices. Uh, but I just really wanted to draw attention to the detail in the design Brilliant. on the heart. Okay, good idea. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is I've just destranded about seven of the smaller sizes of the round faceted black spinels and okay. these are about the five millimetre mark yep. and if you harvest from sort of both ends of the strand you should be able to get pretty much the same sort of size because it is that beautiful gentle graduation throughout sort of point one of a mill at a time okay. that, that sort of size so it's absolutely wonderful <clears throat> and I'm also going to be using from the first section of kit some of the point four millimetre sterling okay. silver wire now my clasp on the locket that we've got on the display bust still operates, it still works, opens and closes as you would expect it to. If you were to use a heavier gauge wire, that would probably not close quite as well. Okay. It's also a reason I normally advocate, like you, I have a law of three, three wraps of wire around a strand before I add on a gemstone. But on this instance, I will just go for one or two so that okay. we don't put too much bulk inside. Okay. I'm just going to show you how to do a couple of these uh, because it gets quite comp competitive, repetitive. So you would start at the top, and what I've done in, in the piece in the studio is I've just gone all the way around one side, and it hangs at a jaunty little angle. If you wanted to go all the way around both sides, you absolutely could. So to start us off, we'll start near the top right shoulder, and I'm just going to draw about an inch or so of the wire through. And I'm going to utilise my bent chain nose pliers just to draw that tail back through the filigree hole at the back of the design and pull that through nice and tight so that we get a firm finish in there. Just give that a bit of a, a pull so that it sits nice and neatly. And I'm working with probably around about 12 to 14 inches of your 0.4 millimetre gauge. And I'm going to introduce the first of my gemstones now. I'm just going to give that end a smooth so it's nice and firm. What I'm doing is I'm making sure there's no wrinkles in it, but in running it between thumb well, and just rub your hand nail. Me, then. <laughs> Sorry. I beg your pardon. I should get rid of wrinkles really easily then. I thought, oh, come on, I'll come over do here. Do you know what? If I could do that, <laughs> I'd have a full body lift. <laughs> so what I'm also doing is I'm utilising the nail on my thumb and this gives us a needle-like effect to the beginning of the wire. If you do that too many times, it becomes brittle, but we probably won't be using this small section of wire anyway. And it just gives it, like I say, it's more needle-like and it enables you to thread more easily if you struggle. So we're going to slide that all the way around. As you can see, my fine wire is coming across the top of that 
yeah. exterior at the moment. So I just want that to sit in position. So I'm going to support the gemstone and the filigree locket, make a nice sharp, sharp bend down the back with that 0.4 millimeter gauge wire. And I'm going to find the next available hole through the back of the locket, through that lovely filigree work, and pull that nice and tight. You do need to get a bit of tension just here and you can see I'm still supporting the gemstone as I draw the wire through and then we make a nice sharp bend just here and we're going to repeat a second time I'm just going to guide the wire with my thumbnail and pull that all the way through we want both of those curves of wire to sit neatly together and the quality of this sterling silver wire is such that you can do that without causing it to shatter. Inferior wires or wires that have been mishandled will become fragile more quickly and you won't necessarily be able to do that. So that's our first gemstone in position. I'm just going to show you a second one to show you how they will sit side by side. Okay. So I'm just going to let that sit down on the table whilst I use the needle at the far end to thread on a second <coughs> round <coughs> gemstone. Now, Obviously the wire is quite springy, which is why it has a bit of a giggle and, and tries to get away from me. So what we're looking to do is to have the gemstone, you can see the drill hole enters, or, or rather the wire enters the drill hole. We want the drill hole to sit snugly against the side of the frame, the heart-shaped frame that we're working with. Support your gemstone in position, draw your needle back through the next available space, through the back of the filigree work on the rear of the locket, pull that nice and firm. Now I haven't locked it into position yet because I want to get that bend just on the outside of the gemstone before I make my decision final. In creating a sharp bend here and a sharp bend here, I've decided that that's where I want my finer wire to sit. And if you then try and undo it too much, because it's a 0.4 mil gauge, you've got less opportunities for that to sort of end well, if you follow me. Yeah. So I'm doing a second circuit, pulling the wire nice and firm. If you want, what you can do is take these two little sections of wire that wrap around the frame, give them a tiny bit of a squeeze and just get them to sit neatly. So you would just continue around until you've added on as many pieces of the wire as you want to add. The next thing that I'm going to do, if you imagine we fill that entire side as we have done with the piece on the bust, I'm going to take my anti-tarnish tab and just show you a little trick, which is to press that down over the top and you'll see it takes on the shape that you want to work oh, that with. Was good. It's really, really clever. It's almost like um oh, it's do like you a remember? mould almost, isn't it? Like a yeah. Well back in, in the seventies and the eighties, you used to put a piece of um, carbon paper between two sheets of paper and then you'd type when on I it. went to my RSI typing qualifications, that's what you did to do a copy. Yes. And if you made a mistake it was it wasn't easy to fix. So I was very grateful when they invented mm. word processors. <laughs> Which, to be fair, came out before I went to work, but never mind. So we've got the shadow of a heart on our little anti-tarnish tab. So we're going to look for the inside of that little shape. And these are just really inexpensive scissors that I use because I ruin them. And then I throw them away and then I spend another 99p. But what they do is they enable me to get quite sharp cuts on the paper. Obviously, you'll be able to spend a little bit more time to get that into the perfect shape. Let me just take the residue out of the way. And all I've done on the piece on the bust is just sit that down inside. Obviously, you would sp spend some time and get that to be a, a perfect replica for the shape and just give that a squeeze and then close it up. And it really does make all the difference in the world to show off that beautiful filigree work. I'm just going to put any colour in, actually, couldn't you? You could put any colour in, but I thought because it comes in the kit, it really is ever so yeah. effective I in like highlighting that. the beauty yeah, of the locket. Do but it does, it looks really lovely with the spinel. Mm. So I, I hope like that's that. been just something yeah. different and interesting it's to try. different, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe something different. So, now just to confirm, Pinky Sweetheart. Welcome. You're that's good. lovely. Do you just get the locket? You do not get the china. You though. do. It's here. It's fab. It's so silky. You got china as well? <clears throat> That price. <laughs> oh. See, I don't know the price of this kit or this section. <laughs> Whisper, tell me secrets. How it's, much is um, it? I want to know. Oh, can I, I want to know. Want it's going to make you wait now. You said that. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Standing silver <laughs> locket, brand new, beautiful filigree heart. 
really pretty design. I mean, you could put some floating gemstones in there, some lovely pearls in there that we had could. earlier, couldn't you? Or some of the black spin nail rounds you could put in there as well. You could. There's yeah. Things on the tea bar which I would absolutely be putting in there. Mm. But you could put gemstones inside if you wanted to sort of enhance that filigree work as opposed to the anti-tarnish tag that uh, Gem just put in there. But you also get this lovely... Now then, for those of you that are beady-eyed, have you noticed it's the same style of chain that we had earlier? It's the Prince of Wales chain but this time in a different length. It's an 18 inch. So, you know, we were always talking about layering up. Mm. Oh, how beautiful. Well, you were 22 inch earlier. That's why mm -hmm. do you think I kept it on? Hey? Eh? So, you could just layer that and wear, forget the, forget the locket and wear that. That's why I queried it. That's amazing. I can't believe you get the chain as well for that. that. Can you see why I queried it? Yeah. Because I'm thinking, hang on, I can't include the chain. Because sometimes you put the chain on just for display purposes. And then he's going, no, it's the chain. I'm thinking, no, it isn't. You divvy. That's so, amazing. No, it is. <laughs> so, Prince of Wales chains, we know it's hard. We're strong. So we know it's strong enough to support that beautiful sterling silver locket as well. And if you decided not to wear the locket, shall I just show you how it would work? If you, if you decided to use the locket elsewhere... I just want to just quickly show you, if I may, just give you an idea. Come on. And it just goes on and off. You don't have to sort of... It hasn't been set on there. You just slide it through the bale. So just to give you an idea. Come on. There you go. They look see? absolutely fabulous. That's why I kept it on, so you could see them together. 18 inch and 22 inch. They look absolutely fantastic. It's okay. It's all right, Tom. I'll get you back later. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He's playing me up in there, but don't worry. He'll get his... He'll like slowly, slowly, softly, catchy monkey. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to bide my time. I shall bide my time. Mate, I would be seriously afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are we doing? There's one on its own, there's two, there's three. Ooh. Owls. Oh. I love him, her, it, them, they. This is Olivia. Ah. Oh. Olivia is beautiful. Sahina, so, you know, yes. the group of owls, they call the parliament. <laughs> I'm being fed this information. I know you're being fed this information. I would suggest you just ignore the man. That's what I generally do for four hours. <laughs> I just filter what I think is remotely interesting for you from him. It's very few and far between. It's mostly me at <sighs> work. <laughs> anyway, lovely. Oh, you absolute lovely boy. Oh, Thank that's you. Fabulous. We'll like him again now, don't we? Yeah, so totally. so shallow. Such beautiful detail Look in the there. feather work on the body. Absolutely love that. He looks startled, doesn't he? Nine two five sterling silver owl connector for ninety five. Would you like to see it on one of the chains? Beautiful. I love her. It's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. So you could have this owl on the upper chain yep. and the moonstone and spinel owl on yeah, the lower that'd chain. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Of your own little group. Little parliament. See, little I thought that was crows. No, I'm pretty sure it's that's, owls. That's mm. a Pardon me? It's a murder. Oh, a murder of crows. Mm. Who comes up with these names? Seriously, who comes up with these names? It wasn't me. 
It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. What is the collective noun for a group of jewellery maker people? Is it a sparkle? A sparkle of jewellery oh, makers? We'll have to come up with a name for ourselves, mm. won't we? Yeah. A giggle? Oh, yeah, you didn't have to ask me twice to do them. Bad boys. They're beautiful. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Mm. No, Tom. Oh. They're so lovely. Love these. Blue colour, coated. Get those sequin, that, get that blue sequin jacket on your black spinel. That's what I would do. Microfaceted, yeah, it won't be long to my beloved Strictly's back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's me locked in till Christmas. Eight <laughs> <laughs> carrots and lovely blue. Colour coated spinel. God, can you see that? You can, can't you? Really lovely. Didn't we have those blue pearls? Oh, can we yes. still have, can we have those? Because I don't have them to hand and I want to do them and I promised, didn't I? I did promise those blue pearls. Because I just think they go prop and lovely with them. They really would. They're love, and that's a prop. You can really see the blue. It's very strong. You, they would also look beautiful with the silvery nuggety pearls that we had. Oh yeah, the ones in the under. Mm. Wasn't it under five pounds? They were we under five. They were Thank indeed. Thank you, Michael. Oh my gosh, what? A I know, color. I know, I know, I know. Oh wow. The black spinel's five ninety five, and we will do the pearls for you next. Amazing. They're absolutely beautiful. Should we call it blue spinel? Shouldn't we? Although it's not blue spinel, it's black spinel with blue over the top. Imagine if they did blue spinel. Cool. Oh! oh Mother Nature. What world are you in over there this evening? Oh, I don't know what's going on with these lads tonight. You said that uh, imagine <laughs> if they did blue, blue spinel. Michael. What? Just prepare yourself. What time are we doing the names? <clears throat> we promised. We promised. We have to start getting some names thrown out at every thrown out thrown down. Thrown it down. Thrown out down. <laughs> Dyed blue. Royal blue. Gorgeous. Oh dear. <gasps> oh my gosh. I know, I know. Are you seeing these pinks and purples? Yes, of yeah. course I am. That's oh wow. Yep. Yeah. Oh. I mean they're dyed, that lovely colour. But aren't they great? But the variation comes from the, the pearlescence underneath, doesn't yeah. it? And that's why with those disco colours, oh, those lovely. sort of mystic disco colours in the, in the royal blue of those uh, coated black spinel as well. Amazing. Perfect combination. Yeah. <coughs> right then, so dye blue, fresh water culture pearls for oh, 5 wow. Amazing. That's fabulous. Yeah. Come on then, you. Okay. Oh, he doesn't want to come on sex today because he, he, has, to, he has to pull a funny face. Yeah. Okay, I'll read them out to you. Uh, Lena, she says, oh, I'm your biggest fan, Wolfie. Aww. Thank you. Aww. Thanks, man. Oh, for goodness. Oh. Let me explain oh, this to him again. Michael, Michael, Michael. Yeah. These lovely people are messaging in to ask you... Michael, can you pay attention to me? Michael. Michael, you. look at me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Lena. This is the point where they're asking you to say their name like the X Factor. Oh, she, yeah, that's her asking it. Okay, uh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Lena Crazy Cut Lady! Yay! Oh, Joey Maker! Nah. Thank you, you thank go. you. Samantha says, Eleanor, Elizabeth and Samantha. Oh, hang on, come on, that's three in one. Anyway, Samantha would like all three. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the three degrees. Eleanor, Elizabeth and Samantha! <laughs> Go on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Gale! <laughs> I mean, appreciate it. Uh, Diane says, I would say Wolfie is a hot babe. That voice with the cute face. Oh. Whose face? Michael's face. She Congratulations to Diane for that lovely message. <laughs> Start to make no sense. <laughs> Does it hurt you to do? 
After a bit, it becomes like a parody of itself, you know, if you do it on and on and on. Okay. I'm surprised. I'm, he's just surprised me that he knows what a parody is, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Anyway, oh, I've just oh, I've just put that on the wrong chain. Can I ask him a sorry? I've sorry. just took it on the wrong. Right, have we done all the names? Um, can you do Zena and Jem? Can you do me and Zena? Uh, me and Jem. <laughs> Zena and Zena. Hang on. <laughs> um, hi, crew. Can you let Zena know I've sent her a direct message on Facebook about her shower head? Thanks. I'll have you, Trace. Oh, thank you. It's not funny. I need this advice because this shower, me, me and this shower are proper having a fall out every day. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. It's not funny. It's not nice. It's not funny. It's doing me a ding. It's proper doing me a ding. That shower. <laughs> Do you want that one on the same bus, Tan? Thank you. I like that man. Manual in the Netherlands. <laughs> there you go. You pulled. <laughs> he is lovely, isn't he, Manuel? Manuel, Manuel, uh, Manuel, I'm here. Yeah, Manuel, uh, Manuel. Say oh. his name. Hey everybody, it's Manuel. Hey, <laughs> can you just do me and Jem? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jewelry makers, tune in tonight for Jem and Zena. <laughs> Oh, thanks! <laughs> Why do you say? Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, I hate Miss Erna. It's not nice, is it? Broadbent. Oh. It's a lovely name. It's very traditional. Broadbent. It's very Broad traditional. Bent. <laughs> bent broad. If I have one more delivery man come to my door, go, is he the broadband? <laughs> no. <laughs> broadband. You These are fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. And that was a bit of fun, so I hope everybody didn't mind. Other tech programmes are available. Sorry, Simon. <laughs> yeah, we can't do any more because it will just annoy everybody. <laughs> just because you say my name like that doesn't mean I'm going to say what you've just said. Just because you say talk to me in a stern voice isn't going to work. No. 65 carats. A black... Spinel faceted squares. They're not square. To be Sorry. fair, I'm I'm in full agreement with young Jem <laughs> because they're actually rectangles. Mm. Are the cuboids? They're, they're rectangles. Re they're rectangles. They have the perfect seventy-five percent ratio. Yes, exactly. So, Michael, yeah. There you go. And they look sort of like little octagon cups. They do actually, don't they? They're fat. They're very clever. Big long strand and all. And all. And all. And all. In it. In it. Sorry. Try to enunciate properly, Zena, do on television, darling. Accepted pronunciation. So, dude, sorry. Terrible thing about Brummies as well. We don't say our H's ever. We don't even say it in the name of the town we live. Now, what I like about that is because you've got that beautiful huge surface for extra luster tastic I'd be putting those with a square abalone earlier oh that would be Ooh, absolutely yeah. fab you could frame them couldn't you oh manual is it manuel isn't it or is it manuel 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 could be manuel manuel how do you spell manuel I can't remember it's like that, that, yeah. It? yeah it could be manuel we could abbreviate manu <laughs> we all start thinking of faulty tires, don't we? We can't help it, can we? Donkey Bell. Uh, I went out with a man called Arlindo Manuel de Sousa. Did he's you? Portuguese, he's Portuguese, oh. yeah. Portuguese. Oh, earrings. <laughs> What's happened on the late show this evening? I'd like to apologise for all my uh, crew. Um, <laughs> Lucy's like, oh, I'm just put down here in the back passage being quiet. Don't, don't get me involved. <laughs> Give us a wave, Luce. 
Give us a wave, Luce. Oh, oh, why not? We can't show the back because it's. Uh, no, okay. <laughs> well, how many? Okay, three pairs. Somebody's having a laugh. Spot the obvious <laughs> error. Seriously, it's a spot the obvious <laughs> error. <laughs> Sorry. I'll just get. I'll just show what I'm given. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> you get three pairs. Lucy's trying to show me up. She did a very good job. I can do that myself. Don't need any any additional help. <laughs> oh, so they're you, adorable. They are adorable, actually, aren't they? You get uh, now. This is a great, great opportunity to buy three pairs of sterling silver owl earrings. Doesn't that image just the way you're holding them there show you why we love sterling silver so much? It's so bright, isn't it? On the back of your hand there, they're really, really beautiful and lustrous. I think the gremlins were talking about sterling silver in the film. And they were going, bright light, bright light. I think they were talking about sterling silver on Jewelry Maker. It Just could saying. be. Could be. Mm-hmm. Remember not to feed them after midnight? Mm-hmm. Don't spill water on them. Butterfly back. So you get, technically get butterflies and owls, don't you? Which is lovely. Don't you? Blatantly stamped 925. I mean, there's no, mis there's no mistake in their sterling silver, and they're so cute. They're cute, Phil, aren't they? And there's definitely the right number of backs. Yeah, we've got it right now, yeah. Uh, £4.32 a pair. That's fab. I oh, know! Secret Santa, oh. sterling silver owl earrings for a fiver with change. You wouldn't think that was five pounds. You'd think maybe twelve ninety five. They're stocking for this for Christmas for people, for your friends. They are. Because it's an extra little fiver present, isn't it? But they'll yeah. never think that, will they? No, definitely not. I've got a friend who absolutely loves owls, and they are uh, uh, such a popular motif. You know, I think we've all got friends that like owls. And yes. owls, I think, over the last few years in the shops, there's been so many things with mm. owls on. We're kind of conditioned to the fact that we all like definitely. It's owls and flamingos, isn't it? Flamingos are hugely popular. Yeah. I got owls the charms a couple of weeks ago. Oh, they're lovely. They're lovely. Owls and flamingos are in. So are foxes. We need to get some foxes. Let's talk to yep. Marie. Yep. <laughs> yep. Four pounds and thirty-two for a pair of earrings. Why is our producer just counting random numbers in the gallery? <laughs> Shall I pack those away for you, sweetheart? Well, that, that, was that taking a long time? No, no, it's well, just that you look like you could be doing something... I look like I need your help. Not in the slightest, it's just that, you know, <laughs> I could have managed that, probably. Oh. Now, I mentioned these earlier. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, they're just superb. Ooh, they're exquisite. Mm-hmm. In a galaxy far, far away. I feel like I've stumbled onto the... It's, it, 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 I'm in the weirdest place. I don't know what's going on tonight. We've all, it's like we've all been tarred with a odd, oddball... A silly brush. Yeah. I'm so sorry, everybody. The one on the left looks like the bottom of the ocean, and the one on the right looks like... Into the stars. A nebula. Yes. Thank you, Michael. 98 carats of Chrysocola, original source from the Congo. We've mm -hmm. had them from, I believe, Peru recently. Very different colour variation on the Peruvian. But the, um, do, would you see there's a word, is it Congolese? Oh. Mm. Sounds like it ought to be a word it if it's not. To, if it isn't, we're going to put it in the dictionary. Mm. The Congolesean Chrysocola are the more traditional colour tones that we expect to see, and they're fascinating. Every single one is completely different. Every single one is unique. Now, it says multi-shape. Have we got a recording of these? Sometimes we may have a different amount in the recording as we do to the studio, but in this effect, we've actually got the same recording. Hmm. 
They are absolutely stunning. Which is your favourite of these two, hun? I honestly cannot answer that. Can Sorry. you not? No, can't choose. Don't make me choose. I Don't like make the me pair. choose. I like the you pair. You like the pair? I like the pair. What did you get for a pair in this game? Uh, um, it's the lowest ranked hand. Are we still not talking not about fair. poker? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's happening. Now then. Oh. Uh, oh, hello. Seriously. Oh. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Poor Lucy's laughing. Shut up. Uh, yeah. Now then, we've only got a cheeky strand with the uh, cabochons. Amazing. Is this the same location? Because it looks just absolutely stunning. Yes. Now then, would you like the rondelles? Yes, to please. Go, yes, yes, please. Yeah, well, that's what we'll jolly well do then. I have five by two mil. Some lovely colourways on there, actually. They are gorgeous. Look at all those different colours on there. They're lovely. Now the only thing is, these have been proper re popular, so I've only got eight left. Sorry. Forty-five carats of Chrysocola. Very much a... Ah, oh, that'll be well, there's only eight left then. If you've got under £20, naughty boy. That explains it. Mm. I mean, that for me would just be an easy bracelet. Because I'll tell you what, if I've got quite a colour, I'm looking, I'm looking at it myself. Oh, definitely. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a temptation to think about necklaces and earrings, but then you can't see it yourself unless you look in the mirror all the time. Whereas a bracelet... You constantly in your eye line. It is. And it, everybody can enjoy and appreciate exactly, it. Exactly, rather than just those people that are gazing adoringly at you. And if you've never, ever had Chrysocola before, this is such a beautiful strand because it nice. gives you those earthier tones yep. as well as the sort of... With the lovely browns and the royal blues and the larimars. And the, yes. Yeah, absolutely. It is a, a... Gem's absolutely right. It's a proper textbook strand. Unfortunately, it is about to... Disappear into your home if you check out, assuming that's where you have your. Because you it might not be having it sent to your house. You may have a, a gallery or a workshop yeah, somewhere exactly. where you keep your gems. Yeah, you might be sending it to a friend for a present. <sighs> oh, have you. Where's that coming from? Hmm. Have I got it? I don't see it. I don't see it neither. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Ah, uh, can we do the pre night, please? Because we've just had those lovely um, spinel. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why that's a spinel. Yeah, but but the microfaceted spinels. Yes. Mm. Oh, that is lovely. <laughs> you imagine a beady bead of the coloured micro faceted black spinels with yep. those interspersed as well. Absolutely. That would be fantastic. Oh, I'll tell you what, is this the Michael Wolf show? Love the Wolfie, makes me laugh. Sarah right. Melanie. Right. He should have his own show, shouldn't he? <laughs> we've got a, we're going to have to petition for a Michael Wolf show. Along with you, he just makes us laugh, doesn't he? He can't avoid it with that face. <laughs> is that not what she meant? Probably. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe probably. Maybe Wait, probably. probably. <laughs> Forty carats of lovely prea night. Six. Oh, is that all? Six ninety-five. That's Ooh. amazing. Oh yeah, the Love lovely prea night, the beautiful prea night. There's nothing like a prea night. There really isn't. There it? really isn't. Such a fresh tone. That's lovely. I love it. It's a leaky green. It is, but like the finest leaks you could imagine. Mm. I adore this gem. I me. What do you mean a leaky grit? Like a leak. Fresh like a spring leak. You know a leak that you like leaky potato soup? A leaky green, as in leak. Not like a leaky shower head. Oh, a leaky no. shower. No, what is wrong with you? Lot tonight. I'm so sorry. A leak. A leak. Vegetable leak. <sighs> it's like the freshest apple green. 
It's not, it's leek green. <laughs> what about spring onion green, scallion green? <laughs> it's not Brussels sprouty. Like a Brussels sprouty green. It's not a sprout green. What kind of sprouts are you Can eating? I go? Can somebody just do the last ten minutes? Michael, come on. I can't go. <laughs> I just, I just don't know what's happening. It's lovely fresh green is what it is. Spring greens. <laughs> Can't see them like right. that. I'm not being rude. Are you just randomly calling out things that I haven't got to show me up? Because <laughs> I'm kind of already shown up on this show this evening. So please stop just randomly shouting things out. I'm so sorry. I'm going to... Wow. Sorry, everybody. Bad we seem to be missing some items this this evening. I don't know what's wow. happening. Wells. Blimey, O'Reilly. They're huge. Have they been eating shredded wheat or Weetabix or whatever it is that might puff them up like that? Perhaps sugar puffs. Proper strong porridge, I reckon, these. Ooh. 360 whopping carrots of lapis lazuli. Wow. Oh, see, I've been putting those with them. You mean those lovely um, Baroque pearls we had earlier, the big chunky ones, oh, the white ones? The huge ones, yeah, yeah definitely. Lovely. But they look amazing with the uh, for top of the show. There were some. Top of the show. Frosted shell pearls. The colour of the coffee. Coffee colour. Coffee colour. That would be they beautiful. sold out really quick. Yeah. Yeah, because that would show the inclusions as, as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. That's sort of bringing out the more glamorous side of it. Be really pretty. I think that would look quite nice with those um, pre not we've just done. Yes, a lot of people <gasps> say you shouldn't mix blue and green. The blue coated black spinner. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Every day. You say you can't mix blue and green. Well, blue and that? green shouldn't be seen. It's a traditional thing. You're I not supposed to mix blue and green should never be seen. Yeah. Is that who said that? It's just from time immemorial, but I like them together. You see? Blue yeah. and green should never be seen. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they love. Do you know, they're one of those things. You know, like sometimes you go to a shop and you pick up an item of clothing on a hanger and it looks all right and then you put it on and it looks brilliant because your body's yeah. in it. Yeah? That, well, no, I don't know that, but yeah, I see where you're coming from. You know what I mean? <laughs> it looks better on than off. Yes. That looked nice on the hand, but the second you do that, you're like, oh, amazing. Especially again with the blues in the top that you're mm. wearing and you've got this sort of sub metallic little yeah. squares. Squares, squares. Detail. Detail, there you go. Mm -hmm. A tenner. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Well done, everybody. Um, shall we do... Ooh, they're pretty. Ooh, silver pearls. Forty centimetre silver pearls. Silver pearls. Silver pearls. Yes. I don't actually know the song. No, I can't think. Of it. <laughs> it is a song. What is the song we're singing? Silver though? bells. Silver bells, isn't it? That's the one. Silver bells. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry. Can you start singing then? Do you know I was mortified when I went into a shop today? Do you know that now that's what I call is a, a hundred? Mm -hmm. Now that I've got the original one in on vinyl. I went into the garage shop today and I looked and I went, I looked at the bloke and he looked at me looking at it. He said, What? I said, I've got the first one on vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> he went, that, that Have you? Years ago? Now, don't be cheeky. <laughs> no, no, don't I said, be cheeky. It's one a year. No, don't it isn't be one cheeky, year, Michael. One no, it's now, not that's one what a year. I call. <laughs> now that's what I call music. One hundred is out. It's three or four. It depends what sort of collections they put out. Scary, Mum. Six ninety-five. But um, it's forty centimeters. Forty centimeters of beautiful silver pearls. They That's... are lovely, lovely size, lovely shape, um, and silver pearls. I mean, it's just. You know, we love silver, so how can we, you know, we've got two of our favourite things mm -hmm. there, silver and pearls combined in one. I've just seen the price on these and that has slightly stopped me in my tracks. These are a really luxurious size and they've got such a beautiful sheen over them. 
Aren't they beautiful? And 40 centimetres. Mm. 40 centimetres. Wow. I was 12 when that first album came out. 1980. Oh, stop it. Were you not born? Oh, God. I, I was two. I was nine. Oh, I bet Lucy wasn't born either, was she? No. God, no. These millennials everywhere. <laughs> Just make you feel old, didn't it, when they go, I wasn't born. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, can I do the green onyx? Because it's just glowing at me. It's really glowing at me. Oh, that, oh, that with the... Uh, Madeira citrine earlier. Perfect, absolutely. Perfect. The black spinels, a bit of green and black. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, chocky. It's going to work with any pearl as mm -hmm. well. Sarah says you two have really cheered me up this evening. Thank you. Well, Sarah, I'm a bit... I don't like the fact that you need you cheering up, but I like the fact that we have. Sarah's been wearing dresses. Lots of dresses. She's my friend on the Book of Face. Other social media platforms are, are obviously available. Are <laughs> <laughs> And you look fabulous, darling. Oh, but I haven't seen you. What sort of dresses? Pretty dresses, like summery dresses. Ooh. Yeah, looking fabulous. I don't do dresses. Well, there was a lovely picture of Elle on Facebook in that ball gown, wasn't there? Did you see in that dress? Wowzers. How yeah, nice she amazing. Look? Yep, absolutely fab. It's amazing, Elle. If you're watching, I'll go, don't spend she's, but you looked amazing. Oh, she looked amazing. She's on the, on the uh, overnight rerun in a minute. She'll be on the other side of this break. A lovely, beautiful L. I don't think she'll be in the dress, though. <gasps> oh, have we got Robert Redford in the show tomorrow? Please tell me yes, please tell me yes, please tell me yes. Out of Africa. Robert, it was Robert Redford, wasn't it, in Out of Africa with Mel Streep? Oh. oh. So oh. I was thinking of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. That's African Queen, isn't it? Yeah. Completely different film. Yeah, out of Sorry. Africa. Nine ninety-five. I would start singing the Lion King opening, but my voice isn't up. It, it really isn't up to it. We could do a few bars of Wim Away. <laughs> Don't that used to be my company's theme tune. I'm so sick of that. I used to work for a company called Jungle. That uh, was our, was it? And we did a version of it as uh, well. Got old quick. Oh, honestly. Every company do. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. <laughs> your Christmas functions were a riot. Oh, man. Oh, 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 now we're all going to be singing that as Ear we go to bed, aren't we? Forever. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. Do you know what? I've thoroughly enjoyed myself tonight. <laughs> so, have you thoroughly enjoyed yourself? I have. I really enjoyed Thanks for having me. Can you look? What? Oh. Pardon? Uh, well, if my voice is, is with me, I'll be. It doesn't matter whether you're here with me. If I can't speak, it doesn't matter whether you're with me or not, does it? <laughs> uh, hopefully, voice allowing, I'll be back with you on Wednesday morning, bright and breezy, at 8 o'clock in the morning with a lovely binding. I'm actually on a show with a binding. I haven't seen it for like 10 years. <laughs> Wednesday morning. Pay attention, Leo. Now, when are you back? I'll be back on Wednesday on the mid. Oh! So I'll see you at Handoff. Oh, well, there you go. I'll see you again. Um, you, you lovely lot, have been brilliant, as always. But tonight, I'd like to say a little bit more particularly brilliant. Yeah, definitely. I feel. I feel. It's fab. Congratulate yourselves. Pat yourselves on the back. And have a big e -hug. Do you want to wave? Put your hand in a wave. Goodbye, Luce. <laughs> We've got half a spec men as well. You've been wonderful. And she's made me drinks every hour, so thank you, sweetie. Aww. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, right then. Uh, uh. No, I didn't Sorry. say you could have the hand on twice, did Sorry. I? Did I? <laughs> got over so give him an inch. <laughs> and let's throw another hand in. Anyway, please stick with us at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Love Jewellery Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewellery Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. 
Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker.